What is happening? You are scaring me. Agreed, there is no time. Where is your father? He just left. Just left. He went hunting. Exactly. Where can I go? Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice, it has a golden voice. Uncle! Uncle! Good evening, Uncle. Good evening, Uncle. The message is clear. You mustn't go into the forest tonight. What does that mean? What are you insinuating? Uncle, I... Silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. Yes, where is Wakego? It has a golden voice. Where is she? Why are you looking for Wakego with such anger in your face? Eh? Because I want to warn her. Warn her? Yes. For what? What has she done? You better bring her out now! Bring her out! Calm down, calm down. Oh, 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 y yes, she comes. Yes. Makeko! If you must remain with your wish glass, if I bring it into my family, did you hear me? Uh, did you hear me? Uh, oh, 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 she told me yesterday that I must not go into the forest to, 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 to hunt. That the animals are all angry with me. And that's what I saw, Uncle. I ran the race of my life before you got into the forest to let you know that going into the forest to hunt will amount to a waste of time. Because indeed, all the animals are angry with you. Shut up your mouth! She stop provoking me with those your unguided utterances. I remain one of the greatest hunters of Obodetiti. Who is she? To advise me not to go and hunt in the bush. I went into the bush yesterday to hunt and to my greatest surprise, I did not see even a grass cutter to hunt. You better warn her. Warn her to stay away from me with her evil days. Otherwise, I will manhandle you one of these days. Permit me, uncle, to go drop my water pot at the back of the house. I shall come back and explain certain things to you. I'm trying to understand the reason for this early morning visit. I'm not here for a visit. I'm here to ask you an important question. What question? Your mother found a maiden for you as a wife. And this is four years now your mother died. Why have you not married that maiden? It's your own Zurika. Don't tell me you left your house this early morning to come and ask me why I have not married? <laughs> no, look here, are you this jobless? Uh, anyway, before you insult me, I came to tell you that I saw your mother in my dream last night. What? What? You saw my mother in your dream? Last night. And, um,. Well, she wanted me to find out why you don't want to marry that maiden. That is a revelation from a great woman of this land. You disobeyed my instruction last night and went to the bush to hunt. You saw the result. Animals who would ordinarily stray out for you to shoot at them went into hiding. 
exactly what I saw. And that is why I am here. Makego, in your entire life, don't tumble into anything that has to do with me again. If you try what you did yesterday, I am going to teach you that I am going to die your father. Hey, Okongo. Okongo, I don't like this. You are threatening my only daughter. The only child that I have left. And this is not good for me. Spare me that your defense. And understand that I mean what I am saying. I am serious. Wakiko does not avoid me with an evil witchcraft. I am going to strangle her. Yes. Before you leave, Uncle. Please speak to my father, your brother. Tell him not to bother going out today. What do you mean by that? Do you know the size of work left in the farm? Whatever size of work you have at the farm will have to wait, Father. Today is not a good day for farming. Oh, am I not vindicated all this? This evil child you call your daughter is deeply connected to witchcraft. You better understand this very fast. The earlier, the better for us. The gods bear me witness. That I have no connection whatsoever with witchcraft. For I only speak what I see. The deadliest of them all will prowl your path today, Father. Safety for you will only be found in your heart. The deadliest of what? The deadliest of them that crawl on the ground. They have no feet. And they have no hands. The enemies of man. Please stay back today, Father. Hmm. I can see clearly that you don't want to go to farm today. That is all. Just stay back and cook. Father, please. Father, the end will not be good for us all. Please, I beg you, do not go today. Father! What terrible child are you? Please. He is your brother. It will not be good for us all. Stop him. Please. It is only an evil child that wishes his father evil. You better keep off from me. Avoid me now! Otherwise, I am going to squeeze your neck and then kill you! Do you know what I believe each other is? Marriage is in the mind. I shall be married when I see the maiden. Who is the maiden you are hoping to find? That is more better than the one your mother finds for you. Let me tell you. When I saw your mother in my dream last night, she wasn't happy with you. Spend all that explanations. I don't need them. I don't even know the business you have with my mother that warrants her appearing in your dreams. I am the one to marry the maiden here. If I see the one for me, I will marry her. Please, if you don't mind, I want to be left alone. Anyway, anyway, I'm not planning to dance soon. I will be alive to see the maiden. Wakiko, Wakiko, I know you hate to talk too much, but the silence of yours is killing me. Say something, please. Wakiko, I am talking to you. We are not dumb maidens. Can you at least say something? Something better. You know, daughter, notwithstanding your disturbing silent nature, but it equally feels good to hear you talk. My father told me about the encounter that your father has Nobody listens to me. So I guess it's best I go back to my original nature. Silence. Do nothing and say nothing. Nobody listens to you. Does that include me? 
Um, but that was a silly way of trying to avoid going to the farm with your father. After all, he doesn't take you along. But saying something as negative as that to your father was really bad. Okay, we are back to our normal life. No talking. But at least, can I just say? Akeka, you have broke a norm. You have broke a norm. Ah! Let us go. Hi. Akeka. Akeka, the, the, the man is dying. Let us leave this place. You have blocked a norm. Ah. Akeka. It's okay. It's enough. Allow the herbalist to arm himself from you. You never can tell what you will get there. But you have blocked enough. All this you are blocking here may be found over there. Let us go, please. Let us go. Agrika, let us go. They don't rush me. I must follow the lead of my spirit. Talk to your spirit so that he will lead you to, 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 to move out of this place. Eh? Why? I mean, he should be happy that a maiden like me is showing him so much attention. Why would a man love a maiden and pretend that he doesn't? Okay, but what is it? Okay, but what is it? Shh. Can you hear that? I can't hear anything. I hear it. I perceive it. I sense it. This isn't good at all. What exactly are you up to? Is this a way of trying to stop me from telling you my love, my boring love stories? Oh, Makebo, please. Uh, don't even mention that. You know how much I hate to hear about snakes. Snakes? Poisonous snakes. All crawling around in unlikely places. Akrika is in there, attending to him. He doesn't need any interruption for now. Please. What are you? What are you? I'm not telling My father, before it's too late. No. 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 Patrika, <laughs> how is he? Can we go in now and see? Eh? The venom is very deadly. Like never I have seen. It's already circulated into his heart. Mm -hmm. And the herbs could not salvage the situation. No. 
Bawani and Iroquois has fallen, and the birds are scattered in the bush. What Iroquois do you refer to? Uno Melonando is dead. Which one are you talking about? The Uno Melonando you know, Mwakego's father is dead. Onyeka, <clears throat> you joke with virtually everything, but will you include somebody's life to it? I mean, will you, will you joke with somebody's death? Bawani, what do you mean by that? What I mean is, hold on a second, are you, are you trying me? Are you trying to see what I would do if my father-in-law to be died? Is that what you're trying to do? Bawani, I'm just coming from Onyo Melinando's house. Onyo Melinando was beaten by a deadly cobra on his way to his farm. Akrika tried all he could, but Onyo Melinando could not survive it. He gave up the ghost. He gave up the ghost because the venom of the cobra had destroyed his heart. Oyeka. Bawanye. Look into my eyes and tell me you're joking. Tell me you're not serious. Bawanye. Bawani, I am a full-fledged man of this land. There's no how I can joke with the life or death of a man that we all love. I cannot do that. Bawani, the man that would have been your father-in-law is dead. He is dead. He died of the venom of a deadly cobra. Yes. Yeah, you're running, 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 Exactly what I'm sensing. Once maidens of Obodetiti leave their pots on the roof, it tells something is wrong. I I can't continue, Pastor Amma. I, I just don't understand it. Eh? What will a cobra be doing in the middle of the road at this time of the year? Oh, exactly what I was avoiding. Exactly what I was avoiding. I am now an orphan. Please, <laughs> don't, don't say that, please. Don't, don't call yourself an orphan. Huh? I'm here. <laughs> and I'll be there to help oh you God. all the time. Please, I'm sorry. Papa, it's okay. No one listens to me. Nobody hates my voice. I want him, but he wouldn't listen. This morning I had a father, and now I'm an orphan. And it's all your fault, Papa. It's all your fault. Hey! Come <laughs> on. The truth 
this that I never really interacted with Tichi was Rinke to form an opinion about him. But the mere fact that he said he saw our mother in his dream should have made you know that this issue is indeed a serious one. I don't know how my personal life has become a topic for public discussion. There's nothing public here, my brother. We're talking of a process that our mother already started in her wisdom, as is the one of Obodetiti. Spare me all these explanations. I am not interested in any process that has not made certain things clear to me. I don't get this. I don't get you, my brother. Are you saying you will not pick a wife because... Because, my princess, I have not said that. I didn't say that. I shall be married to a maiden from this land. Someday I will. And that brings us back to the same topic. Who is that maiden that you hope to find? That will be better than the one that our mother already named for you. I don't know her. But I know she's waiting for me somewhere. And when I see her, I will marry her. Can we change this topic? Because I hate it when my personal life is being discussed. As if I am surrounded by people who have no emotions. All this damaging gossip spreading around her that she's evil and she's a witch. It's not right. And who are you to dismiss the thoughts of men? Who are you, Asa? And who are the men? Yes, who are the men? You talk as if you don't know the position my father occupies in this land. Of course I do know the position your father occupies in this land. I really do know it. But what has your father's position got to do with this? Everything. If someone in my father's position dismisses the allegation leveled against her as business, why would anyone see it as valid? Asa, I really don't want to get angry right now. So I will assume we never had this discussion. If you so believe she's not evil, go on and keep her as your friend. But don't say I do not Next thing they will start complaining that the ancestors are wicked to them. But they don't know they cost it themselves. Bawani. Bawani, if you would listen to me, I would tell you to leave that bed. Leave her and go for another. Our land is a land of maidens. Bawanye, I, Onyeka, will never mourn with an evil maiden. I won't do that. I can't believe you. I can't believe you call one Hegu an evil maiden. Why are you looking at me as if I've spoken the abominable? We all heard the uncle while he spoke. The uncle is a man that is so much respected in this land and you know it. Mwakego is evil. She's evil. And I would want my friend, that's you, to leave her. Leave her! Mr. Oyeka, give me one good reason why I should leave Mwakego. You asked for one, but I'll give you two. One, she's connected with witchcraft. And witchcraft is the deadliest evil that would face any man. Two, Wakego speaks and wishes people evil and whenever she's done, she does that, it happens in the life of such people. To cap it up, Wakego must combine the untimely death of her own father, my good friend. What do you think that your life as a suitor or a husband would be in the hands of a girl who masterminded the death of her father? Wakego, you know that's not true. That's the wickedness of her uncle, Okongo, who hates her with a passion. He made up that story to discredit the poor girl. <laughs> well, I'm just concerned with the life of my friend. <laughs> but Bawani, you have just thrown caution to the wind, but you never kept the danger ahead. There's no danger ahead, my friend. You're the one making that up. It's really very unfortunate that I regard you as my friend. Yet you can't judge anything right. Nothing. Bawani, that's an insult. It's an insult and I won't take it. Call it whatever you like, Onyeka. I don't care. And for you, and for the records, whether you like it or not, I will keep going for that girl, Makego. 
until she agrees to marry me and there is nothing anybody can do about it. One thing I want you to know is that you have a very good friend in me anytime, any day. And um, you know, the rumors making round, to me it's like tales. I don't, I don't hold it because I know where they're coming from and I don't believe you in any way manipulated your father's death. I'll have been shocked if you had said you believed any of those things they say. I'm glad you don't. But you can trust I will never believe a thing like that. E even though you turned down my request, my love request to you, that doesn't mean that I still don't know you. I know you very well. I know you like the back of my hand. Oh yeah, please. I beg to change the subject. But not without saying thank you for everything you did for me during the morning period. I do appreciate it. You're welcome. But you know, I can always do anything for you. Just say yes. Mm. Not now. Please. Um. My love, you know, now that the whole morning period is over, it's time for you to let go and drop some of the stints and rejuvenate yourself. I mean, you could take a walk around the community in the evening sometime. I can even come and take you on, uh, join you on, in the walk. Silence is golden, Bamaya. Maybe she could understand the voice of silence. Silence? Does silence have a voice? I feel frustrated. I feel devastated. Why are they not listening to me? It's a gift from the gods. I waited for the funeral before you know, presenting this issue to the king. The maiden in question is an evil child born into my family. From what happened, I can comfortably say that she was the one who manipulated the death of her father. Please, could you confirm to me, in your honor, that the said maiden is the daughter of your late brother? Yes, I can. My late brother heard her nurtured her and even defended her until his death. I cannot therefore say that she is not his child. Well, in the well-documented history of Obodeti, it is never on record that a girl, a maiden, manipulated the father unto death. How could it be happening now? Your Majesty. Your Majesty. As a man that sits in a place of authority, I stand in position to advise the king. Yes, yes. Good. There is something sinister about that lady. And the best thing is to banish her from this land. Well, I'm trying to understand how an innocent administration of a maiden, possibly a seer in the making, would be translated as evil. How? How? Akrika, can you see why I insisted that you have to be with me here? The king does not understand the kind of death that that maiden unleashed on my brother. Akrika, please, tell him. Onyezi, in my whole life as a medicine man, your majesty, I have never seen such a venom that could spread into the heart within a few minutes. Hmm. Your Majesty, that snake is the creation of evil people. And I am tempted 
to accept the Congo's position. Onyeze, for her to have seen it means she knows about it. Argument that the snake is the creation of the evil people. Apart from the one that beat Onye Melunando, there is no person who has ever seen or been beaten by the supposed deadly snake. Yes. I am a very straightforward man and I appreciate people with that quality. Onye, everything points to the fact that the maiden is evil. And having her around me is dangerous. It's uncomfortable for me. So, Your Highness, make a pronouncement. Please. It sure can we know that a royal pronouncement in the Bodetiti follow the process. Nevertheless, I will make a wide consultation. Then I will be able to know what to say. Your silence is driving me crazy. I came on the invitation of the princess. I was expecting my charming prince to offer me seat. Where you can sit is already served. But you elected to stand. I concluded that you wanted to show me how beautiful you are. But I can't take that away from you. You're a maiden of intimidating beauty. This is the first time you have ever said something nice to me. Say it. I believe my patience is finally paying off. Thank you, my friend. My sister must have a reason for inviting you. I wish she's here to say it. She invited me over so that we can talk. You and I. What am I not doing right? Hmm? Let's spend some time today to talk about us. The way forward. Ever since the Queen passed on, you have been totally cold towards me. The truth is that I'm dying to know something very important. To know what, my prince? Is it the training you got or something you like doing on your own? Why do you like whining and seeking for necessary attention? I know you don't have any answer to that. But can't you see? Ma, can't you see? Even a blind man can see that this is not working. You're a good woman. But this, we, both of us can't work. Is it not better we set ourselves free? To be good for you and for me. Thank you, my friends. Why can't they understand me and leave me alone? You practically ran out of the palace and you're not saying anything. What happened? What did he say to you? I regret coming here. I regret coming here. <laughs> He wants me to make a pronouncement that will get that poor lady banished from the land. Better not in a hurry to do that. Um, Igwe, 
I don't know why Ichioko hates that media. He wants her dead. You see, that lady is an Ada. The deity that oversees the affairs of Ndiada in Iboland is a very strong one. If we must banish the lady, we must first be sure of the offense she committed. It would be suicidal to banish an Ada because Icho Kong made a suggestion to the throne. The whole of her body will go up in flame. And we can avoid it. So I, I think I know, I know what to do. Igwe, yes. Try to do something. I know what to do. Do something, Igwe. Yes. What are you now, mother? I cannot solve with that. It is called for. But for now, I'm just a concerned sister, trying to speak some sense into our own God. Otuku, oh, don't be ridiculous. How could you say a thing like that to me? Talk sense into me as if I'm mad or what? I'm sorry, that's not exactly what I meant. But treating them mad the way you did, don't you think that was a bit too harsh? Mother surely didn't teach you that way. To judge a scenario you never witnessed firsthand. Oh, Kalisia, you should have seen how broken she was. That maiden is supposed to be treated to the prince. She deserves some respect, if not from all the people, but from you, her husband. you go, she's not betrayed to me! That was mother's choice and mother is no more. And now that she's no more, she should be thrown out of balance. And now that she's no more, what should happen? Huh? Okay, listen, answer me. Don't keep quiet. What should happen? That maiden was chosen by our mother. For who? For you, her son. And now that mother died before the both of you could be joined together, you want us to be thrown out or possibly banned from entering the palace. That's not what I'm saying. But it's high time we understood something. Oh, please tell me. My prince and my only brother. What do you want me to understand? She's not my type of woman. Yes. Fine, she's loving, humble, caring. I am not blind to see those wonderful qualities. But my dear, I can't find her in my life. I can't find her in my future. She's not the type of woman I want. <laughs> So a woman with all these noble qualities you just listed is not good for you. What do you want? I guess that means you're fine. Can I sit? Oh, come on, Bamanye. Don't ask me that. Can I sit? Thank you. You honestly shouldn't give me gifts. My heart cannot be bought with your gifts. You said that before when I used to buy you gifts. But this is a work of my hand. A man who lives in pretense wants Wakego as wife. Is that ever possible? I don't understand. Because I don't live in pretense. Your heart is filled with love. It's so sad that the person you want to be with doesn't want to be with you. I can wait for as long as it takes her to make up her mind. Bawanye, why waste your money and time on people when the talent of yours that will bring forth joy is wasting away? I don't understand. You're getting me confused. Everyone must not be a hunter. You are building a house of shame for yourself. For in your hands lie your talent, not in the blood of animals. You make me speechless. I'm confused. Quit the pretense and keep it real. Men of our land are not known to pretend. Pretense is a sin against our journey, Mother Air. So I say to you again, Bawanye, quit the pretense and keep it real. Voice of
of silence. I know why you have invited me here. It's because of the rumor going around the village and the gossip that has made the maidens to stay away from me, believing that I am a killer. Do you also believe that I am guilty? My name is Akeka. The ancient fan that blows evil away. I know you did not kill your father. And my invitation has nothing to do with that. Really? So if the Asian fan knows that I am not guilty, why then didn't you tell the king when he summoned you to his palace? I know. Okongu is not my close friend. But I still recognize him as a noble man of Obodetiti. I didn't think he would tell you about the visit to the palace. He did not tell me about the visit to the palace. I can't understand how I get to know about certain things. Let's just see that I know things that certain people don't. If you have not invited me here about the allegation, why then have you asked to see me here? Because I know you are a unique daughter of Obodetiti. I call you here for us to talk. Please sit down. Speak then, wise one. I am listening. For reasons best known to me, I will offer you color. Do not bother offering me color not, wise one. Just tell me why you have invited me here. The news is spreading that she was the one that killed her father. Many maidens now fear her because they believe she can't kill. I just want to confirm from my father if she's guilty. My daughter. Papa. She is not bothered about what people are saying against her. I'm happy you are not thinking like them. Hello, Papa. Go, 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 get me something to eat. Okay, thank you, Papa. <laughs> uh. Okay. Nobody listens to me. I see things that people around me do not see. I feel them as if it's happening right beside me. As a child, I used to tell my mother. But then, she always dismissed it as childish fantasies. What and what do you usually say? Lots of things. Things I can't even talk about. But the most vivid of them all is that of my brother. I still see it clearly. Very clearly. I still see it clearly. He died out of their recklessness. He died because they refused to listen to the girl child. That girl child is me. What happened to him? He was supposed to go and see my mother's brother who lives across the Ngede River. As I woke up, I saw him preparing to leave. And he came to me, Claire. I saw it. I saw his blood floating on the Ngene River. Who did you hear? Your mother or who? My mother. I told my mother. I told her I saw danger. I begged her not to leave. But she asked me not to say such things and said I was only worried about letting my brother go because I was fond of him. As I watched him leave that fateful day, I knew I would never see him again. And I never did. As the boats they were traveling in capsized and the sea animals feasted on their bodies. What a tragedy. Very sad indeed. Then I stopped talking. I suppressed the urge to speak. Partly because I was afraid no one would believe me. And mostly because I was scared that whatever I said would come through. But whether I say them or not, it did come true. I am trying to reconcile your present narration with what actually happened to your father. Can 
you please throw more light to it? I could force my mouth shut when it concerns strangers, but not with those close to me. I do not want to speak about my father's death, else to bring back all the pains. But I did want him. I pleaded with him not to go. I told him that day was not for famine. I begged him in front of his brother, Ichi Okongu. I am in shock now that Ichi has turned around to lead this evil campaign against him. I don't understand. I am not going to ask you if you love my brother. Because I know for sure that you love him very much. I'm only here to ask you for a favor. Please bear with him. Do I have a choice? Hmm? My biggest problem is that nobody can even come for me. A maiden who is known as devoted to the prince. Hmm? I just pray he will overcome this, this his negligence and do what he's supposed to do. He will. He will. It's just that there seems to be a certain quality my brother is seeking for in a woman. My princess, don't see it as if I'm boasting, but I sure have all the qualities he needs in a wife. Just, just, just look at me now, my princess. I sure have all the quality. <laughs> Why is he turning me down? Why? Masinachi, <laughs> why <laughs> I am not here to make you feel bad. Hmm? My brother is just going through his full exuberance. But I believe he will get over it soon. And he will do the right thing. My princess, I don't know how to thank you. Your words just threatened me. I am so happy. Thank you. Thank you for everything. I appreciate. You're always welcome. Who else will he choose if not you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you are one of the men I respect in this land because you have never deceived anybody. Are you going to deceive me? Why should I? You have just confirmed that it is not in my habit to deceive someone. Why should I now nurse the thoughts to deceive someone with this gift of the third eye? Why? Okay, let me tell you the truth. He tried to impose himself on the king. But the king stood his ground. He thinks he's a strong king, but he is weak. His son will do better than him as king. He's a million willow. He's not good. He is only compassionate. Compassionate? That is the word. He is willing to do anything for Okungu because they are childhood friends. Is that not what the word compassionate means? Anyway, I thank you for coming here. I thank you for this fruitful discussion we've had. You know bother yourself. I know what to do. I know what to do. I can see that your closeness with that evil maiden is turning you into something else. If you don't want me to kill you myself, then you better learn to behave yourself. Father, you are getting it all wrong. Nwakego is not an evil maiden, and you know it. Why do you want to make me go angry? She's not evil, and she killed her own father. Oh, she did not kill her father. He was killed by the venom of an evil cobra. We all know how she warned him not to go out that night, but he refused. Why are you blaming her? Now leave my presence. She is a daughter of this family. And it is our duty to protect her from those who seek to destroy her. I said leave my presence. Leave my presence! I am very angry at you right now. You mean at this hour of the night? A maiden like you was going round the kingdom, gathering information on how to destroy a fellow maiden. 
Your Majesty is not right. Eberen, this is not about me. This is about security. Maidens are so scared of her because they believe she has a portion of death in her mouth. Oh, sincerely, this is why you come. Obima, so you are now picking on a member of my own family. <laughs> Obima, if I face you in this land, can you stand me? Eberen, you are sure misunderstanding me. And I don't think I should still stand here listening to you. Go ahead. Go on, and, go on and twist my humble submission to you anyhow you like it. But one thing you must know is that Obioma is not scared of anyone, not even you. Excuse me. Don't worry. I know where to get you. Your sister has made a case against you, and you are now before the king. I wonder why you're not telling anything tangible to defend yourself. I don't know what you mean by I'm not saying anything tangible to defend myself, father. Masnachi is not my type of woman. I can't see her in my future. This is what he has been saying, father. Then ask him the type of woman he sees in his future. He will have no answer for you. Your mother was a very wise woman. I trusted her with the task of choosing a wife for you. And she did the perfect job of that. Mother didn't make a mistake. That's not what I'm saying. Masna, she's a good woman, but she can't just be my wife. She can't. This royal family is known for so many good qualities, and one of them is respect for women. Listen, if there is something you don't like about me, I expect you to handle the situation in a more reasonable way. That's what I've done. I did that. I tried talking to her. In a way that led her to tears? Listen, my son. Your mother and I have examined that woman. And I tell you the truth. There are no so many women like her out there. If you miss her, I wonder what you will get. Oh, you're taught, father. You're taught. I know what I want in a woman. And I'll surely say it. I'll say it. Why are you looking at me like a stranger? <laughs> because you have never visited my home before. So I'm wondering. Do not pretend like you do not know where I am. Where is he? It's really getting funny. Who is he that you're looking for or Neca talking about? Is he. Can you deny it? You came here to look for Onyeka. Are you sure you're still alright? Why didn't you go to his house to look for him if you want to see him? You know the way his mother feels. The last time I went there, she almost cut off my two legs. She continues to treat me as if her son is one important man in this Because place. that is what he is to you. A very important one at that. The one that gives you sleep last night. If not, you won't be here looking for him. Anyway, if you really want to see Onyeka, you better hurry down towards Uwunko. He told me he was going to Agoku. So, pretending as if she doesn't even love him. Women and pretends. Cut down on the pretense, and the cloak covering that interest shall surely dissolve. Shall surely dissolve. Uh, uh, please, I, at, at least, you, you can leave like that. Just sit down. It's the first time you, you sit in my house. It, it will be my honor to have you sit, please. Deal with it. Interest. Deal with it. Pretense. 
deal with it. I, I, I don't like this. I don't like this and you know it. I don't like this. Have I done something wrong? Please tell me. I don't like both of us walking side by side like this. I don't like it. Well, not to worry. You should have said that a long time ago. Are you okay with this? Don't worry, you wouldn't even know I'm here. I would just follow you quietly to have hope. Please. You would have told me that the witchcraft runs in your family. I don't know what you're talking about. Who told you I was going to Agu? <sighs> Onyeka, you keep pretending that you do not love me. I love you and that's why I ask questions about you. Don't worry, I'll just be quiet. Is something wrong if we go to Agu together? <laughs> Come on, let's go now, please. I'm waiting for you, I'm walking. Ebera, if you continue like this, he will begin to see you as a desperate fool who does not deserve to be taken seriously. I just want you to know that the same way Bawaii is going crazy about you, it's the same way I am going crazy about him. And that is my problem, Abir. You're a woman. I do not know of other lands. But here, in Ebulititi, men go after women. And not the other way around. And by that, I should just fold my hands and watch some desperate ladies hijack the man that means the world to me. Okay, but please just say something else because I am not going to listen to you. Onyeka is the man for me, and I am going to get him. Your father was here to beg me. He asked that I leave his daughter alone. I am not surprised. He wanted me to stay away from you too. But then I tried to explain to him that you are not what they think. But then he ordered me out of his presence. You must never argue with your father again, Iberia. Or certain things will happen and there are things that you certainly will not like. Just understand that your father hates me and doesn't want you around me. And seriously, you think I am going to listen to him? Waki, why are you not the only family I have left? I am not going to stay in with you. Simple. Yes, I know you are. <laughs> I know. Please and one, why did you stop me from teaching her? Now I know why they pushed me to follow this path. To prevent an abomination. Do not jump into conclusion, Ezewana. There is no abomination in a father wanting to teach his stubborn daughter a lesson. My daughter that has refused to listen to me. I as a father own a duty to teach her some lessons. And that is exactly what you have stopped me from doing. Why do you call it an abomination? Okongu, it has become an abomination because you are luring her into the path of hatred. Why must a man of Obode Titi lure a maiden of this land to hate an innocent maiden? That 
is the abomination. You lifting a cane to flog her and a guy of obodetity for no just cause is an abomination. Be careful. <laughs> The voice of silence, silence has a voice. Voice of silence, voice of silence, silence has a voice. What do you mean you remained like this? You couldn't even shout at least to attract the people that would save me. Made in whom the gods have sent a priestess to save, does not need the help of a common maiden like myself. Why should I shout? Have you ever seen me shouting? Where then is the voice of silence? The voice of silence. Well, you alone know what that means. But seriously, this is not fun. So had it been I didn't run, he would have actually flogged me with that cane. It is good that you ran. Now you have drawn the attention of the priestess to what's actually happening here. It's a plus. Not a minus. Your Highness, it is only a tree that hears of his death and still stands. I would like to ask for clarification. Who is the tree and who is the clear? I am surprised at his question, Omega. This is not how this meeting is supposed to be. I'm only asking for clarification. Don't ask for any clarification. You already know what I am talking about. Ah! Onyeze, I heard an elaborate meeting with that girl, that maiden that was reported evil. Yes, I did. You did? When? And why didn't you tell me this? Onyeze, that maiden is not evil. She is just one unique daughter of this land. Unique? Yes. Oh, proclaiming death on people is now unique? Eh? Akrika is making sense. Akrika is making sense. Ije, you better stop talking. What sense is he making? Onyezi, I hope you are not going to listen to them. Okongwa, I know you lived peacefully with Onye Melando. But why would you wish to have his only daughter punished? Onyezi, Wakego is like a daughter to me too. But her, her, her being around me is, is, is unsafe for me. All I ask for is we, we, that we do something very fast to ensure that what happened to my brother will not happen to me. Make this pronouncement your own. Not just to a man in this land, but to an old friend who has remained loyal to your crown. I have investigated that medium, and I hereby pronounce her innocent. So she must be left alone. But even if she is evil, let the gods do it their own way. I'm glad you came, considering how your last visit ended. Your call means everything to me, my prince. Thank you for calling me back. I don't know how to tell you this. We are all humans. So we end. I have already forgiven you. We are meant for each other. You are my destiny. No other woman can give you what you need. I am here all for you. No matter what you do, I will always forgive you. Always. Ma, you're surely running too fast. That is not what I was going to say. 
Yes, I am sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I, I, I treated you bad in the past. But just because I... You cannot be happy without me, my friend. The same thing applies to me. We need each other. We are each other's destiny. Please, my prince, please. I wish I could see things the way you see them. But I don't. I don't. I like you. You're a good woman. But it can't just it can't just work. Come on. Try and understand. Try and understand. You did it again, Okalese. You did it again, Okalese. Very bad. Very bad of you. I tried to make her understand. And I'm sure she did. It's all over. You just turned down the love of a gracious woman. Mother will be turning her grave right now. And do not forget to let me know when you find that woman that you see in your future. I'm wondering what you're doing here. You know that when one soul is buried at a place, he always finds himself going to the same place all the time. So directly, you are telling me that your soul is buried here? Interesting. So tell me, where is the grave so I may dig it out? Of all the maidens in this our village, Wakego, of all the maidens around here, you are the only one that is dear to me. I love you unconditionally. And I'm ready to do anything, anything to make you mine. A fool's paradise. That is where you live, my dear. For as long as I see you and I sense the pretense, you will never get the best of me. Please, tell me. What part of me do you not like? What in me puts you off? Tell me and consider it done. I will change. Please. A soul. I need to salvage a soul from death. That mission is more important to me right now. Voice of silence. It has a golden voice, voice of silence, voice of silence. Silence has a voice, it has a golden voice. Wake ge kuyoku, wake ga ba imba, wake ga ba yoso. She loves me. Wake ge pugi fenile. Yet she doesn't want to open up to me. Pretense. Pretense. The voice of silence. Silence has a voice. 
boys. Ndi were in a no. Ndi were in a no. The voice of silence. The great man that walked in the hurry. You are in a hurry. And that's the more reason you should hurry up to say whatever thing you wish to say. Why hurry to your destruction, my prince? <sighs> Are you talking to me? We cannot save all. For many have been destined to meet their end that way. But you, Prince of Calicia of the good entity, is not one of them. I don't know who you are, or whatever you're driving at. But if you must know, I, my very good friend is... Hosting his friends after his return from Utuacha. You are a special guest. Please, do not go, for a violent death awaits you. Please, who are you? A maiden of this land, great prince. Please. Do not go, for Bude Titi still needs your life. Listen to my warnings and go back to your palace. Voice of silence, voice of silence. Silence has a voice, it has a golden voice. Voice of silence, voice of silence. Silence has a voice, it has a golden voice. Waki ge kuyoku, waki ga ba imba, waki ga ba yaso, ma waki ge kuyoku feni ne, waki ge kuyoku. You actually follow me. Is it the prince? Meaning? I'm wondering why you are avoiding me. You know, sometimes you speak. And it gives me a perception that you do not know me at all. And that, my dear, is not good for you at all. Listen, uh, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I don't know what else to call this. That I was with you in your house and you have abandoned me. Just come and have a quick meeting with the friends. In case you do not, let me inform you. There's already a maiden betrothed to him called Masinachi. So you better come out. You know what? Oh, yeah. What? You have consistently called me your love. And you do not even know me at all. Stop the lecture. And go and take care of your business. I mean, go about the affairs of your life and stop monitoring a maiden who needs to not be monitored. I don't, I don't get this rule. What else am I supposed to do to, to make her understand me? Yes, my neighbor said you insisted I see you immediately I get back. Yes, it is the reason why I sent for you. You brought in here two days ago, and I think I need your help. I need your help. Please. You are a great healer, Mazi. I do not see how or why you will need my help. I know. I have given you all the helps that will take you more. But he's not responding to any of them. So I decided to call you and see if there's any assistance you can offer. My name 
is to a woman of all Roma ethics, married to a great man of Kogode ethics. I've lived with him for three years, yet to conceive, even once. I've consulted Isidie Enuk, the great seer of Ifite. He confirmed that I cannot conceive that my womb has been tied by the strange woman my father married after the death of my mother. And I don't have what it takes to confront a strange woman. I have come for you to help me. Please. Help me. I came for the different things. I brought to you gifts, gifts for great men. Please have mercy upon me and give me a child. Please, I please. I know nothing is hidden from your eyes. What will I do to make him rise again? He can be saved, but he has done nothing wrong. She's holding him because she wants him. Who is the she that is holding him? His mother, a beautiful woman, Moroma Ititi, begged the gods and goddesses at Onunge the river to give her a son. The gods and goddesses removed the curse placed on her by a strange woman. And she conceived and bore this man. He wants to marry, and Obale wants to be with him before he marries. He refused. Obale is holding him. Hmm. Goddesses and mortals don't mingle together. What do we do to get Oba to free him so that he can marry? The priests of Obale will know what to do. Go to him and the young man shall be ready. Makibu, now you know why I sent for you. You have made my, my job much more easier. Thank you. My husband is a great warrior and even his enemies gave it to him that he has fought many wars in Anenugu than any other man that lives. And I wonder why you're telling me that. That great man, that great warrior of Anenugu is lying sick in his compound and you men are sitting in authority have not done anything to bring him back to his feet. It is quite unacceptable and I am here to disclose my displeasure. I'm sorry, woman, but it is very unfair of you to sound this way. We, the men in authority in Anyenugu, have done a lot more for Agoba, the greatest of our land. Even though our messy men have not come out with any solution, but they are making a fire. <laughs> I expect you to send your emissaries to other lands to see if you could have solution to this illness. Talk about spend his youth and energy fighting for an enemy. If you men abandon Akuba to die, his spirit will torment this land forever. Not surprised at her boldness. Any good man who has carried the weight of a strong man must have a part of him. We must surely do something for Agoba. This whole thing is like a mirage to me. So, by now, you would have been dead with those men. That's all I've been thinking of this while. She's 
She came for me and saved my life. And you who hardly listen to people, finally listen to a stranger. I'm really happy you did. She called herself a maiden from my land. She knows my name. She called me by my name, my prince. I'm confused of a lot of things. A lot of things? Yes. Like what? Wish. What does she want from me? Why would she come to save my life? Why? You already asked me three questions and I have no answer for them. I need to find that maiden. I need to. You mean you really want to go about searching for a maiden you know nothing about? A maiden you know nothing about her background. Listen, let you go. You help me on this. You have to. If it was you, I'll do you the same thing for you. Don't deny me this. Please. up this morning and I pray to our ancestors to order my steps aright and my utterance that when I see you I'll be able to propose to you again. Please, Marke, say yes to me and I'll be the happiest man in this community. Why do you continue to concern yourself with things that are not important? I have told you, a wife is not the most important thing for you right now. What you need is peace. Why don't you go and find peace first? Yes, my boy. In your submission about peace, you are very correct. But how can I have peace when the only woman in this community that my heart yearns for is continuously refusing me for, for no reason at oh. all? Oh, don't say that, Bamboo. For you know the reason why I refused you. Pretense. Pretense. Yes, I think. This is the right time for you to really explain this word pretense to me because you have always been using it. Eh? But how, why do, what do you mean by it? Um, you are not a hunter. You cannot know the gun. You cannot fry gunpowder. You know, but you cannot even set a deadly trap. There are cattle murders across the Java River that kill the animals that you roast and come to present to our people. Can you deny this? You may call it business. But shame awaits you because you have deceived our people into calling you, Bawanye, the great hunter, over animals that you have not killed but another has killed. She, she's always leaving me with words that will break my heart. Eh? I don't want it. I will never do this with you again. I'm sorry for stressing you out. Please, I really appreciate your support. That appreciation will make more sense. If you tell me the reason we're even doing this. I'm searching for her because she has it. She has what? She can see into the future. Just like mother. I see mother and her. Nothing will stop me. You've totally lost it, haven't you? Don't tell me I've been foolishly following you around the kingdom. Such if a maiden you met yesterday. She can see into the future. Just like mother. I see mother and her. Nothing can stop me. You never told me you wanted to marry a maiden that has mother's gift. Could this explain the reason you're so engulfed in that part of mother? I told her I would love to marry someone like her. Someone who can see the future like my mother, but I don't know why she hooked me up with someone who cannot see even her yesterday. Oh, please, Okalicia. Don't say that. That's so uncharitable to speak about Mama. She also has her own good part. Besides, this maiden you speak of, how sure are you that she's even human? She could be a spirit sent to save you from that disaster. You know, I never thought of that. You see? Please, my brother, 
Let's be careful. You never know the value of what you have until you lose it. I am thinking of going to the shrine of Agbalanyo to see the priestess. That sounds big. Why do you want to do that? The way she handled my father has completely changed him. All his hostilities towards me for coming close to you has disappeared. He knows I come to see you and doesn't say a word. Obey. It might not be the priestess at work. Perhaps something happened around him that changed all of that. You know, too many things happen around us that we just can't comprehend. Certain things like what? Well, you and I are living. Just imagine if our ancestors were to open our eyes to the forces around us right now. Trust me. Wakego, enough already. Please don't start saying things that would scare me. Moreover, I ran into your Bawani yesterday. Ben, what, what's the official expression? What do you mean by my Bawanya? Since when did he become my Bawanya? I mean, did I ever tell you I see him as mine? What is your problem, Wafi? You have such a nice looking young man coming after you. I met him yesterday and he complained bitter. Ben, please. Let's change the subject, please. I know you love him. Why don't you just say yes and be married? Enough, Ebere. I just told you. Let's not discuss this again. Besides, if you're sick and tired of running after Onyeka, you can as well run after Bawanye. But don't you ever refer to him as mine. We must never discuss this topic again. Please. Bawanye. I still remember the great days of your late father, Bawanyo KK. I know more to know for Bode Titi, our land. Hey! Bawanyo, Bawanyo, why are you bringing shame on the name of such great man? What, what is that supposed to mean, Oyeke? What do you mean I'm bringing shame on a great man? Eh? What does that mean? Bawanyo, you should not shout me down. Don't shut me down. Bawanyo, you know what I mean. What is it? Yes! Bawanyo, lions, they say we get lions. Therefore, your father was a warrior. So? You are a warrior. You are a warrior as well. Ibo, Dobu, you are a warrior. Now, why would a maiden, an evil maiden, who was supposed to be running, searching, and seeking after you, be there and you're running after her? And she's even the one rejecting you. Onyeka, there's only one reason why I'm listening to you and you're not getting a punch. It's because you're my friend. But please do not underrate my leniency. Do not underrate my leniency. Stop seeing such rubbish against my woman. Stop! Stop that madness. Stop it! She's not a woman. Why would you call her your woman? She's not! Onyeka, you know what? What? Get out of my compound this minute. Kwan, what did you say? Leave my compound. And if I fail to leave your compound, if I fail, what happens? Then stay here and ask me stupid questions. Excuse me. But when you put the same beaters, but when you, I will not leave you. I will not leave you until you do the right thing. I won't leave you until you do the right. Come, come here and do your worst. Come and do your worst. Are you alright? Do I look sick? To you? Not sick, exactly. But your attitude these days has been very strange, especially towards Mwaki. Or has it something to do with the priestess of Agbalanya? Mm -hmm. Or is it something you decided on? Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice.
My name is Nando, my brother, please. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Shut up. She's all that I am. Even in the land of the spirit, I will watch out for her. I will not spare you if you harm her. Stay back and go. You must not plan or support any evil against her. Or else, I will forget the fact that you are my brother and treat you like a total stranger. Be one. Be one. Are you not going to say something to me? What can go with your sister? If you want to be with her, go ahead. But you must be safe. And do not stupid thing. Really? Oh, <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Father. What has this wonderful woman been? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You have not been able to get you out of your mind. That maiden father. The one that asked me to go back on that day of the fire incident. A maiden asked you to go back and just telling me now? Father, she predicted the fire disaster and told me that some were destined to die that way, but I was not among. This is serious. A maiden told you that. Who is she then? Father, that is the question that has been giving me sleepless nights. Who is she? I, I didn't have time to ask her that because by the time she told me about that, I was weighed down by shock. Ojo and I have searched for her everywhere a less could carry, but Father, we couldn't get anything. We... Akreka confirmed to me about the special maiden with the gifts of the gods. Could she be the one? Father, who are you talking about? I know who you are talking about. But the question here is why are you looking for her? You know her and you know where I can find her right now. She tried to save life like that before. But no one could listen to her. You are lucky to have listened to her. Ejaculator. Please. Direct me to where I can find her. Oh, I am interested to know the reason why you're looking for her. She saved my life. She saw me on the road and asked me to discontinue from where I was going. That death awaits me there. Somehow I listened to her. And that has kept me alive. All the people that were there were burnt by strange fire. Please. At least let me see and appreciate her. Hmm. Wakigo is an orphan. She has nothing, but I know she's contempted with all she has. And she will never, never accept any sacrifice of thanks from you. Ichakrika, please make it possible for us to meet. There must be something she likes I can offer her. 
she saved my life. And now, I value her just like my life. I will soon stop you from being It's not like I came for that. Uh, well, not, not that I've given up on, on us. Uh, Listen, you have more important things to worry about other than a woman. I've told you that before. You've been seeing this more often and it's getting me more confused. Huh? Take away the cause of the confusion and everything will be fine. The cattle wearers who do the killing while you take the glory are angry with you. I see disgrace coming your way. Can you please speak more clearly to me? I'm confused. The men that do the hunting. The real men who do the killing while you take the glory as the great hunter. Stop it while you can. But this is my business. Hunting is what I've been doing for a very long time. If I stop hunting, my love, what, what will I do? Don't you dare call me your love. You have abandoned the talents that the gods have given to you. And you have chosen to do a business of pretense. See, this is what I'm known for in our land. Everybody knows me in Obudi as the most successful hunter. Can't you see it is not a... You are not a hunter. You are not the one who does the hunting. How else am I supposed to explain this for you to understand what I'm trying to say to you? That you have to go back to the talents that the gods have given to you. You cannot refuse to explore the talents that the gods have given to you and begin to do something else. A man who does that cannot have I, Waki daughter of the gods, as his woman. And the earlier you understand that, the better for you. in this community anymore. Why you pursuing my life, man? Why? What is it? Ah. Bawani, any man who refuses to explore the talents given to him by the gods can never have Mwakego, the daughter of the gods, as his woman. Bawani, if you may understand me, it will help a lot. Listening to us? Were you listening while I was discussing with my woman? Bawani, you're lucky. You're lucky I tried to find out reasons you must leave her. Rather, I found out reasons you never leave her. Bonyaka. Were you actually listening? Of course. I heard her tell you a story about the cattle rearers and their plans. Bawani, that maiden means well. She means well for you. Now I believe that she is truly the daughter of the gods. Bawani, I would want you to use all your might, all that you have, and go for her. In whatever situation, I will be there to assist you. Voice of silence. Voice of silence, silence has a voice, it has a golden voice. Voice of silence, voice of silence, silence has a voice, it has a golden voice. It's your call. It's here. Chill. Oh yeah.
Greetings. We, we greet you. coming perhaps I only see things that are real tell me why are you this excited I knew it I knew he wanted me but he wanted to do it his own way now he has finally bought my heart with a super surprise are you going to tell me or not no give me the answer to this video when a man comes to see the father with a keg of palm wine what do you think he wants? Asking for your hand in marriage? Yes! You got it correctly. Oh, how much I love you. Oneka has come to my father with a keg of palm wine. Oneka has brought wine to my father. You of course I am. This is good news. I need to go now. I need to go so that I will be there to see how he tells my father how much he loves his daughter. You should. I need to go before my father calls me. I will call you and tell you everything you need to know. I will come back and tell you everything you need to know. Ichi, I... I took this decision because over time I thought it was something I could do on my own. But as time went on, uh, I discovered that it would be difficult for me. Because she was only seen a different time. Uh, to in shape, please. I have come to you to help me plead my case. Uh, to let her know that I'm genuine. You did well. That shows that you are a responsible young man. The fact is that I am not blind to where your efforts to win her heart. I know all that. And I know your good intention to marry her. It is unfortunate. It is unfortunate I cannot do anything to help. It's your call. You are the only father that work in Christ. Yes. My friend and I believe that if you talk to her, she will listen to you. I have no such right over her. In fact, I have washed my hands of anything that concerns me. Ichi, how can you say that? Eh? How is that possible? You're like a father to her. Yes. Okay, what if you're late, brother Onye Melanam? I am obeying his command. That I should keep off from his daughter. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Ichi, you mean he asked you to stay away from the daughter? You had me right, young man. You want to go on to marry Makego? Then keep on trying. Try your best to win her heart. And if she does give her heart out to you, it is my duty to give her hands out to, to you in marriage, and that is all. Keep on trying, my boy. Keep on trying. Hmm? That is just all I can do. The last time I saw you cry was when Papa died. And even at that, you had to force the tears out, as they don't come easily. Why am I so near locked? Why I need an answer, she must give me that. You're not ill locked, my sister. That is a terrible thing to say about another, let alone oneself. You mean you haven't noticed? You 
haven't noticed how unlucky I have been. Especially with men. All I see before me is a strong and a happy woman whose future is as bright as the brightest sun. You are the lucky one, Wakego. Yes. They came to my father with a keg of palm wine. But you were not there for me. What's for you? <laughs> they? You never told me Oyeka came with anyone. Somebody would have said. I really must have said this with your six eyes. Your time will come. I have told you, Iberi. No one wants to marry a maiden who throws herself at him. Go on. Preach on. What is it with you? When would you say yes to Bamaye? Until he takes his own life to convince you. Indeed. Those with both of us. Those with Botox do not know how to sit. Why did he come for me? Was it in me? My princess, the truth is that the prince was here. But what I don't understand is why you're looking for him. Does it mean Prince Okalisia of Obode Titi is one man that will not be allowed to do what he likes? I'm sorry, Ichi Akrika, but you sound as if he has already briefed you. Briefed me? On what, my princess? Okalisia has been moving around the kingdom, searching for a maiden he called the seer. He said that she is the one he wants to meet his wife. Oh, that was not what he told me. He said her ministration saved his life. And he wants to see her and thank her. It's sure he will tell that information from you because he believes you don't need it. I'm telling you now. And I want you to use your good office in the land to stop him. He has a maiden chosen for him already by our mother. Masilachi, Mani Maramba is Yes, I know her. I know her very well. Good. Then you must agree with me that Okalisa has no reason to search for another when he has such a maiden waiting for him. I believe you'll do this for me. I believe the gods are planning something. My princess, let's follow the gods. You claim to be close to me, but you do not know me at all. That is because you have not allowed me to know you. I am not the kind of woman that you can have. I am strange and different. Haven't you noticed? Haven't you heard what people are saying? Wakego, this same strange woman that you have grown to be, I watched you grow into it. And I've come to love this woman. Please, you continue to turn me down is killing me. How do you think people will regard you when they find out that you are not a hunter. Well, talking about that, I've really investigated it. I've spoken to all the men, that, the cattle raiders that I do business with across the Njaba River. And none of them seem to know you. And because they do not know me, I do not have information on them. It's obvious you don't know me. Oh, please. Everything, everything that I've done in my life, I did it to win the heart of the woman that means a lot to me. And since pretense and living a fake life has not won her over to you, why can't you change? You have great craft in your hands and in your eyes. The gods have blessed you with talent. Use the talent that the gods have given to you. Makego idimuma Makego 
Mwanyi marama Mbobu na mbiaranso Kamu wagi kao bimgi Iga ajumu Iga rapumu Iga eku oku Oku na bawa muobi Odema Njuba ki odema Kedifem kaeme Kaiburu mkebu Onye jiyo bimu madu Eji dego ife nile Oji dego ife nile Onye jiyo bimu madu Eji dego ife nile You deserve a woman that will move you to everlasting success Amend your ways and stand the chance. His wife visited me, and from the way she standed, she feels we have abandoned Agoba to die. She also came to me. The truth is that we should not bother ourselves with the ranting of a woman. Agoba is our brother and our hero. The ghost of Anienugu knows that we have not abandoned Agoba to die, but at least. We need to do something to convince the, the woman that we have done our best. Something like what? We have sent for one year and she has started treatment. We should at least give her two days to prove herself. Hmm. I agree with you completely. But there is need for us to spread our search to other lands. Other lands like where? Like Umuakbaleri, Obudere Titi, Isioyenato, Osili, and Abomim. And the rest. We must not only help Agoba to get well. We must be seen as doing all within our powers. Ichochaya, all these kingdoms you mentioned are inferior to Anienuku. We cannot afford to ridicule ourselves by going down to an inferior kingdom to seek for help. Yeah. Uh, Ichocha, hmm? I think at this point hmm. we should take this matter to the king. Yes. Because if Agoba dies and without us doing something to convince that woman, that we have done our best for the husband, our hero. Mm. That woman may take us to Ajane. Let me ask us, can we stand before Ajane and swear that we did our best for Agoba, our hero? Mm. That's a question. Agoba Wokike. The hero of our land. What man of sickness has knocked you down like this? Your men and your house are not running around to save them with color knots. Agoba, rise. Rise to your normal self and let this sickness depart from you. I go by my hero. I don't know. Whatever is it that can hold a tiger like you down is indeed strong. Help! I've asked around that this man of Obedetiti, his name is Akrika. They said he can heal my husband of this illness. Elders of our land, I'm pleading. You take my husband to this man so that he will be healed of his illness. Please, I'm begging. I don't know what to do again. I'm exhausted. We've heard you. And we are glad that you've been going around, asking around. It goes to show that you're a good wife to your husband. We'll make brother inquiries on your suggestion and we'll get back to you. Agoba Woke again. Hey, who? You are certain things you just cannot say. 
Richard Chaya, if you like to defend a stupid suggestion from a woman, it has nothing to do with me. I'm a warrior and I will never succumb to any suggestion from a woman, mainly a strange woman that Agoba married from a good Please stop this age long campaign against the people of Obodani. It's not taking us anywhere. This woman only suggested something we should look into. Now both of you listen to me. This is a trap. A trap set by a married woman from another land to make us play down on our cultural relevance by playing into the hands of Obodani. I disagree with you. I disagree with you. That woman has not set any trap. She's only concerned about her husband and made a suggestion. He used a suggestion that will make Obodani lose down on us. There is nothing that will make me go to Obodititi. Nothing. We have our own. Let us invite one Yolo to heal our hero and our brother. She can do it. She has healed worse sickness in the past. Please. When a man loves a woman, he can do whatever strange thing to make the woman happy. But when you put this one is going to the extreme, it's going to the extreme. But see, I never knew that my friend can sing so very well and we've been searching around to get someone who would lead us in songs in our community. Yeah, this is not a joking matter. And it's not like she asked me for an extraordinary, like a big deal thing. She only asked me to forfeit all my fake life and concentrate on my God's given talent. I don't think she's asking too much, is she? Well, you have my support. You know you have my support in whatever would make her use. I would want you to be careful in whatever decision that would make jeopardize the means of your life you do. Listen, what she asked me to do is to stop parading myself as a hunter and concentrate on my free giving talent from above, which is weaving. And you and I know that weaving, I did not learn from anybody, it just came. And each time I weave, people are appreciating me so much. I, I, I don't know what, what to use. I know how it started. But my problem here is how much you could make from weaving to sustain yourself. Well, the, the truth is, my woman knows me and understands me. And I'm sure we have support. I don't even see any reason why we should overlook today, which is a day of a little beginning. Mm. What about tomorrow? I'm aware they have briefed you on what they are planning. I don't want it to happen. I brought you here to plead with you not to allow them to rob the shame on our great Anienugo land. When a renowned healer admits that the situation is more than what she could handle, then truly the situation is very serious. Everyone knows what you can do, Wanyolu. Help save a brother. We don't have to ruin our age long cultural relevance by going to Obode Titi to seek for help. I understand what you mean, but this is all about human lives and your duty is to save that man. Hey, go ahead and save him. Save him, Wanyolu. Help save Akuba. I do not wish to deceive neither you nor myself. Aguba's condition is more than I could handle. But if his wife says that man of obodetity can handle it, then involve them and save a warrior. This is beautiful. I made them. They're from my hands. You did? Yes. <laughs> it's really beautiful. If you take this to the market to sell, it will be sold in no time at all. I made it for you. Just for you, my love. 
I won't refuse this because it is true. I'll let them meet you, but. Thank you. And thank you again for making me, helping me discover my talents. I believe you turned me down because of my fake life. And I, I took a decision to turn around and do the right thing. Not just for me, but for you, my love. Listen to me, Balanya. One should always make decisions because of themselves. Because only you will bear the brunt of the outcome. But still, I'm proud of you. Welcome. Are you still going to turn me down? What is he doing here? My biggest problem is that nobody understands the insult. What insult, my princess? Oh, my mother, of course. She found a maiden for her son. A maiden she already named his wife. Then she dies. And is moving around the kingdom searching for another. That is very insulting. I feel so sick right now. My princess, to me, I see no insult here at all. The prince knows what he wants in a wife. And if he hasn't seen that in the one your mother found, I think he has the right to search for another. Oh, just shut up! Shut up, Obioma! It is people like you that has been encouraging him to disregard my mother. If you don't know what to say, just keep quiet and say nothing at all. Why are you not bothered about your son? Why are you not thinking of your own marriage? The prince is a man, and you are a woman. Time is always on his side. But I doubt if anyone can say the same about you. Princess Ojugo, think! She was actually talking to you, my princess, but the truth is that she spoke to me. I know what to do. Yes, I know what to do. What is going on here? What is your friend up to? My princess, a young man of this land has been asking her to be his wife, but she refused giving him attention. I think the priestess just opened her eyes. So she's going there right now to say yes to the man? Maybe. My princess, a woman who has no husband has something vital missing in her life. I pray I get my own man son. Seriously. You don't know how long I've stayed. I did not go hiding. That day on the road was my first time of seeing you. How come you've lived all your life in this kingdom and I have not got to meet you? It's not your fault, my prince. My face is not the type that one should remember, no matter how many times you come across it. <laughs> but immediately I walked into this place, no one told me you were the one I saw on the road. Doesn't that prove you wrong? I've actually come to thank you for saving my life from that unfortunate infant. How 
how you come to know about that impending disaster is one question that has not left my mind. I was actually speaking with someone when the picture came to me. I knew I had to leave immediately to save someone's life. Until I got to you, I never knew it was the prince. I don't understand. It came to you like a divination, vision of what? I've come to observe that you're not the type that talks too much. Oh, please, speak to me. I've answered your question, Great Prince. You came to me in a picture. I was asked to move. I moved. I got to you, asked you not to leave, and you obeyed. And here you are alive today. Please thank the gods, not me. Does that make you see her then? Thank you very much for appreciating me. And I must thank the heart from where these came from. But I'm sorry. I cannot accept that. I do not want to believe you came all the way from your land to ask me if I can do this or that. I will not give you a specific answer when I have not seen the man in question. Ichi Akrika, that is why I requested that you come with us. His condition is so critical that he cannot be brought here. As we speak, he is paralyzed and incapacitated. Paralyzed and incapacitated? The combination is not good for the ears. There is always a way out. Why are we stayed here speaking like women? Are you going with us or not? We came because we were highly recommended. Let's please behave like men. Your colleague earlier said that all the medicine men in Anenugu fail to heal the man. Have you heard him? Have you been listening to him? I know he was going to rub it in. We have not come here to listen to you insult our medicine men. Yes, they failed to heal him. And so what? Must you continue repeating it? Please, don't let this mission be fruitless. Why are you picking a necessary quarrel with this messy man? He's our only hope. No, 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 no. In God's forbid, I refuse to be bossed into that corner that this man is our only hope. No. Our messy man failed to heal Aguba. Must he keep repeating it? Uh, please. I think I, he didn't mean it that way. Please, just tell us what we are saying. Please. Let's move forward. Mm. Men of Anenugu, I will not follow you to Anenugu without inquiries. We need a seer to help us trace the course of the sickness. And once that is done, the Spirit will guide me to the healing. She is Wakego, great daughter of Obodetiti. She is gifted for the power to see beyond human eyes. She will help us trace the cause of the sickness. Once we know the cause, the spirit will guide me to the healing. How will she know the cause of the sickness when she has not seen the sick man? Well, I don't have a problem you're calling her. She's the seer you're working with. Could she follow us to Aninugu then? 
Your own is becoming too much. Be quiet! So that the spirit of divinity will flow. You must obey it. It shows stupidity in everything they do. What is this nonsense before us? We are not here for you to educate us on how you men of identity behave before you see us. We are here for you to heal our hero who is down and incapacitated. I choose to ignore that. Okay. For reasons best known to me, I will follow them to an end of it. But please, before we leave, can you please help us to trace the cause of the sickness that got the man paralyzed and incapacitated? Akuba. The great warrior of Anienuku. The Opopoyi coin of Anienuku. Is he the one? She asked a question. Is he the one? Yes, he's the one. His sickness has given us sleepless nights because it has defied all treatment. We are here because his wife will take the case to our journey if her husband dies without her doing something. I see the cause of the unfortunate sickness is in his past. But that past is hidden from me. <laughs> you see yourself? Look at the seer you brought before us. She can see nothing. You cannot say that of me. For I have seen the cause of his sickness. I cannot speak about a man whose spirit is no longer in this world. Agoba, the great warrior of Anienugu, is dead. And for that reason, I will not speak about the cause of his sickness since he is not alive. What, what do you mean that he is dead? We left his heart for this place and he was alive. That is exactly what I have been trying to avoid. Eh? His whole thing has turned into a child's play! The sun was in the middle of the sky when he passed. You may ask those who were there with him when it happened. An evil owl flew into his heart. You see, I'm losing it. I am losing it! I don't know the culture of your land, but where I came from, Anyanugu, owls don't fly in daytime! I can assure you that an owl flew in your land today. It flew in when the sun was in the middle of the sky. It took his soul away. He's dead. I will not speak about the cause of his death. Because in Igbo land, like you know, we do not speak evil of the dead. He died with an important truth. A truth that need not be hidden. Yet, he hid it. And even on his sick bed, the ancestors of Anienugu pushed him to reveal this truth. He refused until the owl came and took his life. He died with that truth. But someday, that truth will be revealed. In their lie his corpse. Ogugu has confirmed that he is dead. Why will Aguba die now that you have found someone who hate him? Hey! That means that maiden of a pretty identity was right after all. Okonta, when did this happen? Can you remember? When I heard how his wife screamed, the sun was in the middle of the sky. And I ran in. I saw an owl flying off. I still can't understand why an owl will be flying during the day. I went inside immediately and met him lifeless. The sun was in the middle of the sky when he passed. You may ask those who were there with him when it happened. 
an evil owl flew into his heart. We need to sound Ikorodike. We need to bury our hero, Akoba. Then I'll have something to say. I know this all this while and I tried to avoid it. Nobody listened to me. Finally, an evil maiden of Obodititi sent an evil owl to take the spirit and soul of our hero. Mbano, you cannot say that. Will you do me a favor and shut up? That maiden killed our hero. We must let the Obodetiti people know that they are too basic to play with the revered people of Anyenugu. Don't you think you are reading unnecessary meaning into it? Icho Chiara, you know me too well. I will defend Anyenu with the last drop of my blood. We committed massive blunder when we elected to involve other healers from other land. That evil maiden killed Agoba, and I want us all to open our eyes. Sincerely, I'm trying very hard to convince myself that that innocent maiden, that seer in Obude Titi, is responsible for Agoba's death. Jo Juana, have you forgotten the enmity between Obode Titi and Anyenugu? Do you not think that they will stop at nothing trying to outdo us? Killing our hero, Agoba of Anyenugu, will be a great achievement for them. We play the fool by going to them. Destruct when it matters. Destruct us very deep. Hmm. I think I now know where we are coming from. Did any of you see how she looked at us as people who are coming from the land of the dead? If this is true, then what are we doing here sitting talking? Oh, but they Titi cannot put their fingers like that in our eyes. Agoba is dead. What is death must be revenged, and the king of Obodetiti must be forced to act. If he fails to act, his kingdom will go up in flames. I remember vividly the day the men of Akutu wanted to rape my sister. Stood your ground and rescued her. Oh. My friend, I don't get it. Are you seeing you traveled all the way from Anenu just to come here? I remind me of something I must have probably forgotten. It's strange. I didn't forget. I have not forgotten. That day you touched me where it mattered most. And I promised myself that I will pay you back someday. So, so tell me, how do you intend to pay me back? How on you? Yes. You once told me that the maiden you want to marry is a seer. Something happened in my land. And I think that maiden is at the center of it all. I don't understand. You're getting me more confused. I saw it coming and I warned my fellow elders but they refused to listen. Finally, a maiden has used an evil owl to terminate the life of a great man of Anenugu. That maiden must take her own life or Obodetiti will go up in flames. I brought you out here to promise you that even if all the men of Anenugu ignore what happened, I will never ignore it. Thank <laughs> you. 
We will call them down on a for day. We will call them down on a for day. We will call them down on a for day. We will call them down on a for day. tell you. You need to make the confirmation that the said seer you want to marry is the one they are planning to eliminate. If she is the one, you must do something. You don't know my people. My people of Anyemidu are one mongers. And now that they have an evil entity, the Malaysia as the head of the warriors, it's worse. They plan to attack. As I'm speaking to you right now, they are making the plans. So make the confirmation. If she's the one, you must do something. I have to be on my way. Safe. What is the meaning of that? I am a maiden of this land. When was my movement? When did I have my movement restricted? Okay, go. I had a visitor today who came all the way from Anienugu to visit me. And I did not like the news he came with. What is my business with who visits you? I'm asking you what you are doing here. Please, what did you say to the man who came from Anienugu today to see Akrika? Ah. I see that they are shocked that an ordinary maiden like myself can be that accurate with the message. And they are surprised at the truthfulness of it. Well, the truth is that this has gone beyond shock. They believe that your message was too accurate to the ordinary. And they also think that you are a witch. And you have used your witchcraft to manipulate an owl that killed their kinsmen. And they are planning evil against you. You should not be surprised if I say that I do know what they have in their dirty hearts. All the same, I thank your friend for coming all the way to let you know. Please, Mark Hegel, do not joke with this message. It's serious. The man from Anienu can be very dangerous while here. I've given you my message. I'll be on my way now. to understand why you are talking to me the way you are. Why I'm talking to you the way I've been talking is this. You have been using her. And you know it. You have been using her to your own advantage. And you must stop. Now, you must stop. Young man, let me tell you. I saved her from banishment when I went to the king. 
and proclaim her a blessed child of this land with the gift of the gods. She knows it. And she's paying me back. Yes. She's paying me back. She's paying you back. Let me clap for you. But let me ask you, Akaka. When she was not here, were you not here? Why did you have to get her involved? Why? Because you do not know. Because you are a little boy. I heal people with a lot of difficulties. It is by trial and error. It follows the pattern of trial and error. But the involvement of Maki has made things much more easier for me. She came here this morning with a pot of water. And this she has been doing every day. And she greeted me like a father. Why are you ranting here? Why? Why I'm ranting Akrika is because the men of Anilu who came here to seek for healing for their brother, they believe that she used her knowledge of witchcraft to send the out that killed her brother. That's why I'm ranting. Why well, I'm very serious, Akrika. You better fix this. You better get this fixed. Or you have me fix you. I won't say this again. Fix it. I'll fix it. Are you looking at me like that? Does this have anything to do with the men of Anilu? Did you do it? Did you mistake killing with the man dead? And it happened. You know, people like you that has the gift of the third eye can do a lot with their mind. From all you already know of me, do you believe I killed the man? I know you are gifted, but I do not know the limit of your gift. Maki, I am confused. I am confused. Listen, I remembered you said they are coming to take away his soul. And it happened that same way. And the people now believe that you know things about it. Tell me all you know about the man. Tell me. You know I am the only person that will save you and protect you. You asked me to come and help you. And that is exactly what I did. So you did not do it. I hate to talk so much. Can I go now? Oh, okay. They are going to make you hang yourself. I know. You have not seen that, did you? Do not hesitate to call me if you ever need my help when you're killing anyone. As for the men of Anyonugu, I am not bothered about them, for I stand with the gods. The high misery is from our king, Igwa Kalamma do Kalamma, you see, Nechendu of Umu, Arakai Hobu of Idumuri Kingdom. You can praise your king the more. He deserves it. Because he is a great king. But to what do I owe the honor of your pursuit? The frog does not run in vain in the afternoon. Set your mission, you have my attention. Some days ago, a great calamity befell the people of Anionugu. A great hero of our land, the person of Agoba, Kokbo Aniko Nyi of Anyonugo, passed away. Losing him was sad, but not as disheartening as the calamity behind his death. But uh, what has the death of your kinsman got to do with me and my kingdom? Is that what we are here to let you know right now? Someone has used a vast knowledge of witchcraft to send an evil owl to take an important soul of our land. We are here in peace. But that peace can evaporate if someone fails to do what we expect. I am beginning to smell something on blizzard. Please, permit me to send messages around the land so that I can involve one or two persons. 
uh, you, you, you presented a matter against our daughter. But please, we are begging you to give us time. You have all the time, but mark my words. If you fail to provide the evil men to hang ourselves before us, then our men will come to get enough earth of obodity men with which we will bury our hero. We give you seven market days. That is the message from our king and our people. The choice is yours. I've never seen those faces before. Who are they and what do they want? People of Anienugu and their troubles. Are they from Anienugu? Yes, sent by their king. But I don't think I have any issue to settle with them. What issues? Please, tell me what the problem is. What is the problem? Mark Ego, late Uno Melando's daughter. Yes, yes. Predicted that their brother would die. Later, as the same person died, uh -huh. they now believe that she's a witch. <laughs> oh, God, Dad, this is the most incredible story I've ever heard for my life. That someone predicted that this person would die at the end of the day, he died. What has witchcraft got to do with that? According to them, they say that anybody that commits such an offense must hang him or herself as a punishment. What? Hang him or herself? This is a dangerous time in our history. We ask them to give us time. But seriously, there is trouble. Why are you behaving as if nothing is happening around here? What do you want me to do? Maybe you should at least cry. That will relieve some tension around here. <laughs> you are even laughing. Do you even understand anything? Why is everything bad happening to this family? First, I lost my mother and three brothers. And then your mother and only brother died. As if that was not enough, your father also died. And what is about to happen now? My only cousin is about to hang herself. Why is everything bad happening? Why? Hey, Bere, there's no need for what you're doing right now. Those who are dead are resting in peace. What about you? Do you know what it means for someone to hang herself? What were you thinking working with a character like Akrika? I do not blame Ichi Akrika for anything. He needed help, and he got it. He never willed for any of this to happen. I have told you that I have washed my hands of anything that has to do with one thing. Yes, yeah, I understand that. But that was when I came to plead so that you let me uh, plead my case so that she can accept me. And what is the difference? What has happened? You, you don't know. You have no head. Head what? It's all over the town. Even the beds are singing with the news. It is none of my business. After all, Akreka is the queen. No, Ishia, I refuse to accept that with you. Eh? After all, you know very well that that Krika just took advantage of her. Moreover, she's only but a child. She's a child. Because of that, we're not going to let her just die like that. We will need to fight for her. In case your father did not tell you anything before he died. And Enugu has been our rivals from time in memory. They are warmongers. They are ready to kill, even at the slightest provision. Ishia, I know that history. But are we going to allow them to kill our innocent, innocent maiden that, that the gods give to us freely? No! We shall rise and fight for her! That's what I'm saying. 
And what are you trying to insinuate? To go to war? Against an Enugu people? What, what weapon? No, to, to, to war against them? What weapon are you going to use? This is not the war of the weapons. It is not. It's a war of doing the right thing and protecting it. It's a war of fighting for justice and fairness. That's what I'm saying. I shall not meddle in the affairs of two kingdoms. That is the duty of his individual. As for one go, I think she has everything to fight the war herself. I'm here to tell you you shouldn't worry at all. I will do all I can to keep you safe. And I wonder what the prince can do over a matter that is beyond the king himself. Okay, but even if it's the last thing I do before I die, I will try and see that no harm befalls you. I wonder again why you'd want to help a poor orphan like me. Maybe the gods want to say something to you. Why not listen to them and tell me what they're saying? Your life is filled with so much emptiness, Prince of Calicia. Why don't you leave my problems alone and try to face yours? Did you just say that to me? What do you mean by that? I mean no disrespect, my prince. I can't help but talk about the emptiness in your life. Why are they looking for something that they already have? I don't understand that. Something like what? I am not afraid of the men of Anienugu. For I stand with the gods. Thank you for offering to fight for me. But there will be no need for that. You told me that your brief encounter with the priestess you change your psyche completely. But you go, I am disappointed for I see no change. Why do you hate this medicine so much? I don't hate her, you know. If me. you're sure you don't hate her, why not be part of solutions to her problem? What solutions? Everything points to the fact that the speculations about her could be true. Oh, have you not heard about the circumstances surrounding her father's death? Oh, Ojigo, I'm surprised you're talking this way. Are we still talking about the same maiden? Who saved my life from that infant that took the lives of others? Oh, please! Stop reading wide minutes into my presentation. This one is different and you know it. Oh, how? No, tell me. If you can give me a reasonable answer, I will stop talking about it. Talk to me. You see? You don't have anything to say. Thank you for your support. He died with an important truth, a truth that need not be hidden, yet he hid it. And even on his sick bed, the ancestors of Anienugu pushed him to reveal this truth. He refused until the hour came and took his life. He died with that truth, but someday that truth will be revealed. I don't know what else I must do. He refuses to accept the cola. Why, you no listen to me. You have to go back and repeat it all. You have to keep repeating it until it works. And why must I do that? I've done all I can do, but he keeps throwing the pieces of cola back at me. The median of Obodetiti wants to insult our land because she's a seer. She wants to make public a cardinal secret in this community. Ah. Something that will make other kingdoms to look down on us. I brought you here because you are the only one in Anyenugu presently that can seal her mouth by casting the Kola North into the port of Obulofulwe. And I accepted to do that because of the position you occupy in this land. 
I have done what I should do, but the forces refuses to seal her mouth. Maybe we should allow her say what she sees. You never can tell when it will become blessings to us. Why did I allow the three to obliterate it? How else did I stop this insult? Father, I've known you as a man who stands for justice. And I will forever stand for justice. Why didn't you succumb to the ploy to waste an innocent life? What's the proof that she is innocent? This is the second time such allegations have come against her. I dismissed the first one because it, it was written. But this second one is different because it involves the people of Anirugu. Father. You may forget any other thing, but don't forget that this lady in question saved the life of the heir to the throne. Of all the seers I've seen, she remained the only one who is not bothered about money, guilt, or anything at all. Father, can't you see? Can't you see she has a pure link with the gods? This is just a ploy by an Enugu people to destroy a wonderful and gifted daughter of this land, Father. Father, why does such an enmity exist between two kingdoms that can pass as brothers? This is how I met it, my son. Things are even better now. Better? With all the silent enmity and bitterness assuming from both kingdoms, I do not see anything good. Talk more of getting better. <laughs> but my son, at least, we intermarry now. In the days of my father, there was nothing like that. In fact, the people of both kingdoms could not even walk past one another on the same path. There must be a way forward. Two kingdoms that live close together cannot live as enemies forever. There are certain things you need to know before you ascend the throne. If you enjoy peace with them when you reign, see it as a great reason to thank the gods and the ancestors. Whatever that will make you have any problems with any Nubu people must be avoided. And if you will listen, Keep yourself away from both your friendship and most especially their troubles. Okay, Father. I remember what my father told me. I have built peace with an enemy people all my life. And I can't just destroy, because of a medium, what I have built all my life. Father, you speak in videos. What are you going to do? Peace. Peace with the Anenugu people. We cannot start a war because of her. We must give them what they demand for. What they demand for? Father, you mean you ask an innocent lady of this land to hang herself? You, we lose our people, the heads of our people because of her. Is her life worth that waste? Son, think like a man who will reign in this kingdom after me. She must be made to hand God's self. And that's the only way we can save this land. Africa! Where is this one man that comes to save the better man? Where are you? Come out, come out now. Come out. So don't address him as that, that again. It's not a messy man. Look, Akrika, I'm going to call you just one more time. You better come out here. Akrika, come out here now. What are we waiting for? Let's go in there, but when you drag him out. Young lady, where is your father? My father is not at home. Eh? Where has he gone to? He left very early in the morning. Tell us he's hiding inside and not tell us why. I am not telling lies. My father is not at home. Tell him. 
that he got himself an anti-infested wound. Therefore, lizard has visited him. I don't understand what you mean. Shut your mouth. He's still talking. Listen to him. You don't have to understand. Just tell him that Ezemine Willow has consented to the people's wish that Mwake go to hang herself. Tell him that I said that better not happen. Because if it does happen, I and him, our ghosts, will kill each other. Tell him that. Better tell him that. Let's go. Father, what is going on? I smell trouble. We live in trouble season, my daughter. I will drink troubled waters. They want me to fix it. And I will fix it. How? I don't understand. Have you seen her? No. I have not seen her. Then where could she have gone to? Huh? Where did she tell you she was going to? She said she was going to the stream. I've gone to meet everybody who could have followed her to the stream, but they didn't see her. I even went to the stream myself, and she isn't there. Uncle, we just cannot sit and do nothing. We have to do something. Something like what? You are just returning from the searching for her. And you want us to do something? No, no, no. What else do you want us to do? I am worried, Uncle. The Perry does not keep late nights. Makigo. Uncle. Let me ask you a question. Is it only oncoming dangers that you see? Why not you use the same, same gift that the gods gave to you? To locate exactly where she is and possibly tell me where we are, we are going to find I do not force myself to see things. They come to me naturally. And until I get a revelation about it, there's nothing I can say about it now. Hi! I buried. Hi! of our men and possibly go into war with an enemy people because of her. Is her life worth that waste? Son, think like a man who will reign in this later after. She must be made to hang herself. And that's the only way we can save this land. Listen to me. Look at Masinachi one more time and discover that mother was indeed very perfect with her choice. What you need now is a wife. Her mother, in her wisdom, already found you one. Why are you here languishing in sorrow when she's there in Isoyanato? Please. Can't I be allowed to concentrate? Something bigger than marriage is brewing in our land. That is what I'm thinking. That is what all men of our land are thinking right now. Something bigger than marriage. And what could that be? Oh. Possible war between an Enugu people and our people. But Father wants to avoid that by approving that an innocent maiden must hang herself. Ah. How can any right thinking man be thinking of marriage when such matter is in the air? Be a boy, 
So worried about you. What is there to come back to? My heartless father who would just sit and watch my only sister and friend face injustice. Or my only sister that will leave me very soon. I figured I just had to start practicing on how to live without her. Ibere, it's dangerous out there and it's late. Anything could have happened to you. I do not understand how I wish for that to happen all the while I was there. But alas, evil failed to come and take me. I will not lose hope. I will keep praying until it comes and takes me away. I cannot even think of a life without you. of this family. Show love and no one will ever separate us. Good night, Uncle. Wakebo, uh, uh, please excuse me. We need to talk. Yes. I did not come here to join words with you. Where is your father? Where is he hiding? He left very early. Okay. Tell him he can run for all I care. But he better come back and undo what he has done before. Tell him that. But my father hasn't done anything. You're accusing him for nothing. Listen, young woman. I did not come to banter words with you. Tell him to come back and undo the evil that he's bringing on Wakego. Because if he doesn't, I will personally kill him. Tell him I said so, and I shall be back. Tell him that! Uh. Nobody saw you. For how long will this continue, Papa? For how long? If you can solve this problem, solve it once and for all, so you will stop living in fear. Listen, my dear. I know why I am still avoiding him. Let us go home, eh? Let's go. My father hadn't stay at home again. He sneaks out every sunrise and sneaks in late at night. But why? Because Bangwanya has threatened to kill him. Uzoma, you mean your father does all of these things just because of what Bangwanya said? He can't do a thing like that. Bangwanya will not kill anybody. Makego, based on what I have seen, he can do it. The cutlass he comes with looks so sharp. 
and it can kill just with one strike. Please, talk to him. If my father must do anything about the situation, then he should be allowed to operate freely and be able to think right. I beg you. I don't understand why you're making a case for that crafty man. A man who exposed you to danger. For the first time, I'm going to ask you to please educate him on the great sin that he has committed that makes it compulsory for him to be punished the hard way. What he did was that he exposed you to danger. He took advantage of your being nice and your being vulnerable. He exposed you to the men of Lanielugo and he knows that this man can stop and not the one. Spare me all of this. It's obvious that you are very wrong. Well. Well, really? Tell me we have come back. You seem not to understand the men from Lanielugo. They will do nothing, absolutely nothing, to stop at their evil plans. Men of Anunibu and your unfounded request is the least of my problem. All I am concerned about here is justice. I mean, you have unjustly banished a man from enjoying the peace in this compound, all because of the senseless fear of the intimidation of men of Anunibu. You cannot intimidate me with your sentiments, because I know you have a good heart. It, it has beclouded your decision. But Akrika must take care of this problem that he has caused. Even if it takes me to kill him, I'll kill him to correct him. You will kill no one. Then. You don't seem to understand what is before you. This man will have you hang yourself. And if you know what is good for you, you better stop moving around and sit in one place. I can take care of myself. You may not know much about me because you may not have a training interest in what concerns me. Why do you have to say that? You are our prince. Prince Okalisia of Obodigiti. Yeah, apparently true. The one that would marry you must not The beautiful maiden that is in you. Your mother found for you. I'm surprised you know this much about me. But I want to tell you, I am not going to marry my snatch. Your choice, not mine. Uh, you said you came on account of Maki. I, I, I want to, I want to find out the interest you have. Oh yes. I am here because of work. You are a man. And I can conveniently tell you that I'm a man too. You are a masculine. You can give it to me that I'm a masculine. I want us to handle this. I'm not asking you to leave her. But what, what is the to Who do you wish to stand with? Akrika is nowhere to be found, and the Congo is not even ready to talk to you about this. I don't need any of them. If it will take me to, to work alone and make this work, I will. But the only thing you should bear in mind is that I'm not going to let my woman die like that. I will not. I wish you was what you think she is. Your woman, I should always say. Yes. You know, sometimes I would always be tempted to go to this one ego to sort her out. To ask her what she is. That she'll be doing this to my friend. She's the one I love. She's the one I want to wait for. She's the one I'll do everything, even wait for a very long time to prove to her that I love her. And you, my friend. Choice is yours. It's either you stay with me and follow me on this journey and make this work. Or you can go because I'm ready to achieve this course alone. Mm.
I do not know how fruitful it will be. But I just realized that I, I, I will not forgive myself if nothing is done at all. Thank you. Thank you very much. You have to also thank the prince here uh, for, for his efforts. What are they doing there? Yes, I know. But why here? And why would the prince? I don't think you have to panic here. This is such a serious situation that the prince wouldn't be thinking about taking a wife now. What are you going to do? To find out what they are doing there. I feel devastated Why are they not listening to me? It's a gift from the gods Alilie buwe mo Obi amwa wamo Alilie buwe mo Emeli eme buwe nubo Mwakego, mwakego, mwakego Mwakego, obi amwa wamo I have already discussed it, Okute. In the next three days, three heads shall fall in Obodete. We shall send a signal for them to understand that we are the same yesterday, today, and forever. If you will listen to me, I will plead for caution. I was with the king yesterday. The king has started a wider inquiry, and we must allow the king to finish what he has started. Unfortunately for you and the king, I am the one that leads the warriors. You can continue your political meetings with the king. Our warriors shall proceed to salvage the age long pride of Anyanugu people. No body takes us for granted. As you cannot go to war with Obeda Titi, when the instruments of diplomacy are yet to be exhausted, we have a king in this land. Most importantly, is the ECR at the of the book kingdom. He must give his approval before the head boss. What are they talking? You know you could have spoken to him in a more respectful manner. And that's because? Because he is your prince. From the first day he came here, I knew what he wanted. But well, let me ask you, are you going to accept him? Who is supposed to be talking about marriage at this crack? He me. wasn't here to discuss about marriage. And even if he was, am I not a single free girl allowed to choose a man of her choice? Okay, we have a serious problem here. I'll need you to listen to my plans first. What is it? Ichi, we are ready with the plans. It is no longer three heads. Before the cock will crow and dawn tomorrow, we will have seven heads from Ogoduit. Okute, I trust you absolutely. I know what you can do. I know you will not disappoint. That's why I called you. Ichi, are you saying seven is not enough? Because for the final passage right of our great warrior Aguba, I will bring home 10, 12 in the world. I actually called you because I wanted to order a stay of execution. A stay of execution? Ije, in Anienugu, we don't go back once decisions have been made. I know, but I don't want it to look as if I am disobeying the king. They just confirmed to me that the king is making broader inquiries on the matter. I just want to give them benefit of doubt. Hmm? Once I decide on what to do, I'll send for you. Hmm? I can't believe you just said that. 
why would you say that? That I should run away with you? See, I've made plans for us. Let's leave this place. Okay? Let's leave a night before that day. Let's go somewhere far away from Obode Titi and Anienuru. Let's go somewhere, so, somewhere like Agro. Okay, Titi. What makes you think I'd want to run away with you? Or you think you stand a better chance with me now that I'm at your mercy? No. I'm doing this because I want you alive. You're more important to me alive than... Enough. Let me say this once so you don't ever make the error of repeating this again. I, Mwakiku, will never run away from my father's land. What if it means taking your life? If that's the way the gods want me to die, then so be it. I would not be angry if you mistake me for a mad woman right now. Because that's exactly who I am now. I will not be surprised if this has to do with Wapi. I know you love her. And I know that she saved your life. There is something about this struggle. Tell me about it. Listen, I do not know what you are planning with my father. Because I don't see any of you making moves. Now someone else wants to do it, but she won't listen. I will do anything to her. Anything. She doesn't listen to me because she believes I am not as smart as she is. But I still love her. Now Bawanye is willing to take her out of this place, but she still won't listen. Maybe if you talk to her as a prince, you will be able to convince her. Who is this Bawanye to her? Bawanye is... My prince, it's a little bit complicated. What is important is that he is someone who is willing to save her life. My prince, I am pleading with you so you could talk to her into accepting this offer. Please. Please, you really need to talk to her. I beg you, please. It's okay. It's okay, I'll wait. Your king couldn't have said only you to us. It's an insult to our kingdom. I never said he did. Really? Who sent you then? Oh, I came on my own. The matter does not consign our kings. That is why I never asked to meet you in the palace. It was to me that the issue of your sick kissman was brought. It was to me. It was you who brought in the evil maiden that took his life with an evil owl. Oh, exactly. that maiden is not evil. And that is why I am here. We find it hard to believe because the story of how she manipulated her own father to death is everywhere. That maiden is not evil. I must never be punished for what she did not do. Are you challenging us? Man of ability challenging us in our own land. Iche, Ikbe Malezioku, leave the challenge for the gods. <laughs> I knew he would drag in the gods. Why are we listening to this man? Eh? Why are we allowing the man of ability to treat us as if we are the minors? Don't you know the history? Ability is minor to us in everything. Iche, Ikbe Malezioku, be calm. Be calm so that we won't avoid making mistakes. We must involve the gods because it is their gift on that maiden that the whole of you are mocking. Yes. And what are you driving at? I do not want to dwell on the issue of who is your minor. But I want to sound it here and now that Obodetiti is not your slave. And you must never treat one of the very own as one. Let me tell you, everyone deserves justice. And that is what Mwagego should be given 
And if we fail to comply? Oh, I hope you people will be wise enough to comply because I started with the gods and I am also ending with the gods and the whole of us are nothing without the gods. I had a meeting with them. I give them my conditions. Like we agreed. You think they are going to comply to that? Hmm. Unless they want to dare the gods. Who does that? Who? Hmm. Akrika, from what I know about Anyenugu people, they are ready to stand anything. Anything. <laughs> you are laughing. Uh, Okungu. That will not include bearing the gods. They know the consequences. I hope they will honor the invitation. Mm. Mm. My people, I am very happy for the new development. Most especially, we have all gathered here in one accord. That is not to say that uh, this one is a, is a more fortunate one. But you should allow the gods to do their will. Africa. Onyeze. Let the process begin. Igwe. And truth is what we all seek. The oath of Abalanya of Obodetiti has been an age-old practice which has proven over and over again its effectiveness. That is because it is connected to the sun. This maiden of Obodetiti shall before all of us take this same oath to prove her innocence. If you killed the man, do not swear. For if you do, you shall die under the sun, and you shall not be buried. Are we all in agreement? Are we all in agreement? Yes. yes. Are you ready and willing this day to take the oath? I am willing to do anything to prove that I have nothing to do with whatever killed the man. We have something to say, Your Highness. that this process should proceed. Why interrupt me? Yes, we agree that this process should proceed. But you all know that an Enugu is full of wise men and we are always one step ahead. Uh, I do not see the wisdom in stopping the uh, process of taking to prove her innocence. I do not see the wisdom. We don't want her to take the oath because we don't believe in the efficacy of the oath of Abaranya of Obodetiti. She claimed to be a seer. 
she claimed to have seen her brother's death. But there's something she must do for us to prove that she's a seer. We all know what this is. For her to prove for us that she's a seer, we want her to tell us how many seats are inside this pumpkin. They are determined to see her dead. Who in this world will know the number of seeds in that thing? Uh, um, your parent. Even though I don't like Mwakego for anything, but for once I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. How did I expect her to tell us the number of seeds? Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Father, this is not our agreement with them. It's not. Uh, uh, people of Anienugu, we should understand that we have gathered here in one accord. This is the only condition, or we go back to our old request. Do not start an evil process with my Isuvu, was what the innocent lady pleaded with you. This happened today in your land. She asked you to promise her that you will not use her fruit to start an evil process. As the leader of the group, can you deny what I just said? Amuria, please help us with your popkin. Please help us so that we can save our motherland. We need it to save our people. Please. No. No, 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 no. This is the only soak that I have. I want to sell it. Please now. Eh? If okay, let me ask you a question. If all our people and our kingdom perish and you have this issue, God, this is your pumpkin, will you be happy? Bikonu. Please. Please move me. If we are sure you are going to use it to save our land, then I give it to you. But please do not do an evil thing with it. No, 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 no. Promise. 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 Thank you. 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 Men of Anenu, I am surprised that you dare the gods. I am surprised. She asked not to use her foot to start an evil process. That exactly is what you have done. Using her foot to start an evil process. Her foot that contains 65 seeds. Cut it open and confirm. Let us ascertain if I am an evil seer, a good seer, or a witch that kills people with her words. Sixty. Sixty one. Thank <laughs> you. 
You know what I want? Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Wakege kuyoku. Wakega baimba. Wakega bayaso. Ma wakege kuge fenine. Wakege kuyoku. Wakega baimba. Wakega bayaso. Ma wakege kuge fenine. Ndin were tinano. Ndin were ananaho. The voice of silence. Silence has a voice. Ndin were tinano. Hey, you feel me? Shame on you. Look at them. Say about Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Walking <laughs> 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 The seer has one more message for you. The voice of silence. Silence has a voice. Listen, you brat of a bodity. You know what is good for you. Leave us alone. Let us figure out what less to do. What you must do next is to confess the atrocity you are hiding. Are you talking to me? Remember what Wanyolu told you? The Your... truth is like smoke. It cannot be hidden. You're taking your luck too far. I speak because I am afraid of nothing but the gods that sent me. Your so-called hero whom you claim to be defending died with the truth. That truth shall spring up and set the record straight in the land. Can you tell us this truth that Agoba was hiding? George Aya. Are you joining this evil maiden of ability to make a mockery of Agoba? Continue in your quest to suppress the truth. But note, you are next. Oh, stop there before I kill you with my bare hands. What do you mean when you say I'm next? Why hide under the guise of guarding cultural relevance to conceal much as you have seen? Watch your language, you brat! Who is hiding a multitude of sin? You are hiding a multitude of sins, Aguba. Confess now. You must not confess in an elaborate manner. You can do so now before these men. Say it with your mouth, else <laughs> I will not say anything. It's it. What is the matter? What is going on? I stand with the gods, and men cannot destroy me. The truth will always reveal itself. You can still save yourself by revealing it to these men now. Did you want to stand up? Voice 
And what is happening here? You're in love with that maiden because you see our mother in her. But you don't have to kill yourself over her. My princess. I want us to understand ourselves here and now. I want her. I don't know what you're going to do about it, but I want that maiden. You are the coming king of this kingdom. Every maiden should be excited that you're showing interest in her. But we have an interesting scenario here. The prince, your brother, is interested in a maiden who doesn't want the opulence of the throne. My dear, I want you to step into it. Step into it as in... As in going to beg an orphan to marry you. Exactly. <laughs> Come on. Don't be ridiculous. You know I can't do that. I won't. Listen. I know you can do it. Exactly what you're going to do. This maiden stole the heart of your only brother. By doing what your mother did all her life. You know, women understand themselves more. Hmm? Look at me. You will do it for me. And I will be indebted to you forever. Come on. Say no. Don't say no. Don't say no. Please. I have never been disgraced in any way like this before. That made you was more than a seer. In fact, the people of Okobe did you. Have you seen the fruit of your agitation? We insisted that that maiden must be killed. It was you who was first to remind us of the age-old tradition of a killer hanging himself for herself. And we quickly took the matter to the king. And we went up and said, you insisted on that stupid punky seat counting. All I wanted was justice for our brother Agoba. Has that become a crime on my part now? Oh, let me remind you. She said something about the truth. Are you ready to speak to us now? Or you must wait when we get to an end. I wouldn't want anyone to insult me on the account of what I've said. You, you, I see. You need not confess. You can do so now. Confess with your mouth or else. Even your king knows I'm a man of power. You can't read it to me. Confess, confess with your, your mouth, mouth or, or else. else. You lie! I have nothing to confess, you lie! Ah! Ah! You lie! You lie! You lie! You lie! You lie! What? Igadu. What I am very sorry for all that I have put you through. And for not believing in you. I'm so very sorry, my daughter. It's nothing, Uncle. I know that you meant no harm. You are only exhibiting the main strength and spirit of our men. I honestly hold nothing against you. Oh. Ah. I am very happy now. You are very cheerful to me. I appreciate you, my daughter. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is surely the best part of it. My father is finally apologizing to Mwakiko. I am humbled the more. Thank you, Father. I thank you, my daughter. I, I have been very foolish not to have seen what the gods have deposited into this family in her. But now that we have come together as one small happy family, uh, may I quickly ask this question? Yes. Why, why is it that you have refused to assist any tangible thing to the Credible suitors that have been coming for you. Why? Gods of our land just saved me from the evil scheme of the men of Anilogo. I want to take time and find out what happened. I honestly do not want to discuss marriage now.
There is something you are hiding. That is what she said, and I believe her. I can't believe this. So you believed a maiden of Obodetiti more than the warrior of Anienugu? Yes. Hi. Hey. Ichocha, I, I am highly disappointed in you. You cannot be disappointed in him. The issue here is about our kingdom. What are you hiding in the shape of Do you know what? Both of you, leave my compound. This minute, I said leave my house. Aguba, that party the charm. <laughs> yes, we slept with all the maidens and the women yeah. in this kingdom, including your wives. Hey! Our crime is the reason the maidens in this kingdom don't get married anymore. Hey! Hello, Melo. After we have finished defiling the maidens and the women of this kingdom, we tried to destroy the charm, but the Divya said that we must sacrifice 20 cows or our blood. <laughs> we refused. But that's why Hagoba died. Eh? Please, I don't want to die, please. Look, look at that owl. Look. <laughs> talking about here is not of any other young man in the kingdom, but the prince. And I should marry him because he's the prince. Don't get me wrong with my princess. I do like your brother very much. But I don't think it will work out that way. My brother has never been happy with any other woman until he found you. And just when we all rejoiced about that, you took all that joy away. Princess, you're making allegations against me. That isn't fair at all. What do you think turning down his proposal did to him? I never turned down his proposal. I only asked for time to heal from the stress of the past days. Saying yes to him will not stop you from doing that. He has a maiden chosen for him by our mother. But right now, I don't even, I don't even know where the maiden is. Mourning her loss. What did she lose? The prince? I assume you already know. You are the one he truly loves. Please say yes to him and you'll be happy for the rest of your days. I wish the princess understood how I'm feeling right now. Make me understand, my dear. It is obvious you're the one who has stolen his heart. He sees our mother in you. If you marry my brother, you will not regret it. Please, I beg you, say yes to him. Wakego, idimumba. Wakego, mani marama. Mbapu na mubiaranso, kamwa gika obi mudi. Iga jumu, iga rapumu, iga epu opu, opu na bawa mubi. Odima, onyedima, odima. I don't, I don't get this anymore. I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. Her heart has suddenly become home for the royals. If it's not the prince, then it's the princess. Eh? Now I know that Makego is me. Yes. 
I thought she was just playing hard to get. I never believed that she could dump it for Prince Okalisia. I don't think it's Mark Ego that is me. Brother is a prince. Huh? Yes. No, no, look at it now. A man like him that has a beautiful maiden prepared for him. Who he left her? For who? For my wife, Ego. Can you imagine? Stop it. Stop. Stop what? Stop. You know how much I had to hear you say this? You wouldn't say it before me. My wife, Ego this. My wife, Ego that. My wife, Ego that. My wife, Ego this. And she took you out of your hunting. The business that gave the money. And put you into the swabbish. You do not have one ego. You lost all the money and she put you into this, into this nonsense. This is the height of wickedness. Babonya, I'm sorry if I sounded harsh. You, you're my friend. What I wanted to say is that you deserve a whole lot of good treatment from one Okay, it's all right. Where have you been? I've been looking for you everywhere. Let me just say I went somewhere far to mourn my loss. No worries, I'm back now. And you look even more beautiful. Turn around and see you. More like a newly married woman. Or has it happened already? Hmm. I'm still waiting for that man who will be like Prince or Calicia. Until I see him, I will remain unmarried. Don't worry, my dear. The gods will give you even a better man. You see? Hey, hey, talking about Prince, I heard he has found a maiden who possesses what I do not have. I know that voice. Ah. That's okay. I told you forgotten that is your father. Hmm. I can see that everyone in this room. Um, I'll leave you both. I have to be crazy as I wish. Be careful. No matter what I do, you're a very important person in this world. I will abandon where I was set out to go and give you the best treatment you deserve, like a man. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so, how are you? I'm fine. You look good. I don't know how to do that. But I know that your gladness does not mean that I'm now good for you. Oh, come on, Master. Do you know you're a good woman? You know that. Yet you abandoned me for her. How is the race fly? Indeed, is the race fly. I will not say that I'm happy about your choice. But I'm glad you found what you need. Like I said before, you're a good woman. And you have all these good qualities that will make a man want to stick with you all his life. You know him. Yet you could not stick with me. Part of the reason I came to know what this maiden possesses that I don't. Intelligence, prestige, beauty, or charisma. You have all these qualities you just mentioned. There's one thing I desire in a woman which my mother knew about. And she had it too. Tell me about it. A woman with vision. A woman that can see the past and the future. For me, I was hoping it's something I can easily acquire. But I cannot. Since this is very important to you, go be with this maiden that makes you happy. Masinachi. No hard feelings. Masinachi. 
Like I said before, you're a good woman. And I pray the gods will send you that man that will take good care of you. But remember, you're always welcome to this palace because you're one of us. Thank you, my prince. You're welcome. I really don't understand what this means for me. Just say yes to him and become his wife. I bear it. Why are you acting like you are the one that is going to live with the prince if I end up marrying him? But that is the truth. Or are you planning to completely shut me out as soon as you become his wife? Well, I'm just going to beg the gods to help me ensure that you are in your husband's house, <laughs> pregnant and extremely busy at that time. See where you're even going to. But it's true. But no one will ever talk to me like all the men I like would not even as little as I have a conversation with you. What would I do? Say something. Mm -hmm. oh. uh. What's it going? This is the lady in the store that prays for. If I were, I would give you a resounding slap. That is the last thing I expect you to be doing right now. Smiling. Greetings. Greetings, beautiful maiden. Why would you qualify her with that? Is she more beautiful than any of us? If she was that beautiful, the prince wouldn't have this child. Hmm. He is very happy about you. That makes me glad. Because all I wish for is his happiness. Please, take care of him. You are truly amazing. <laughs> Please, stop. Don't flatter me. Your mom is in that mood. <laughs> Let's not go into all of that now. Let me ask you, are you just going to give up on the one you truly love so easily? I do not possess that, which he must have in a wife. Ladians of obedientity are not known for throwing themselves at men. Some may do that. Some are even doing it as we speak. But I, Masnachi, will never do that. Am I? Is she talking to me? Tell her what I would do to her pretty face if she dares talk to me like that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am glad that even if you're here has agreed that you do have a pretty face indeed. <laughs> Outside having a pretty face, you have great gifts from the gods your future husband will be proud of. I wish you well. And what are you still doing this? Go home. For your man is taking. The prince is taking. Such a lively good lady. One would think that you are as hard as your words. But you are softer than the skin on my face. Try not to throw yourself at men. That will increase your work and get you where you wish to be. Excuse me. I don't know why you want to visit. Just accept your loss and move on. Can't you keep quiet for once? I wish I could. But we need to tell him the truth. This is a prince he has as a rival. This is a prince he has as a rival. Have you ever thought about it? Do you know your problem? Do you know it? You talk too much. Oh, is that why you hate me? <laughs> well, I don't care. I have given up on you a long time ago, so you can hate me for all you want. I, I thought I could, 
But I found out that I, I can't. Because you're the only woman since I was born that I behold and want to be mine. I, I know the prince stands a better shall be. Exactly. That is the edge he has over you. He's very intelligent. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth and let my friend make this proposal to a woman that means everything to him. Shut your mouth. that he has all the power and money and he can get everything he wants but please do not forget my undying love for you please why Neil please stand up ask him you cannot rival with someone like Prince Bebe, please I did everything that I did and told the new lead because of you. I left my hunting business. Kiss me good morning. Please, what else would you have me do? Nothing. You have done everything. Mwakegu would never marry a man who lives a fake life. A man who lives in pretense. I don't care if you are making so much money before. But the end point is that now you're living a true life to people and to yourself. And that's the picture I want in my ideal man. I don't know why you are saying that. He stands no chance. The prince is... Ebe, please, again. I love you. But your pretense and fake life kept me away from you. I'm so glad that you listened to me and that you're doing the right thing now. So, are, are you saying you... Yes, I'm here. True love. You are my destiny. <laughs> Mwakego, are you out of your mind? You mean you want to throw the prince away for a mat weaver? Okay, please, I say again. <laughs> Lots of things will happen. Things you never thought you could do. I have found mine. Shh. I'm touched. Now I feel like crying. True love makes you do lots of things. I have found mine. He's here with me. I know what it means to find true love. I understand. Makego, mwanyi marama, mbobu na mbiaranso, kamu wagi kaobimbi, iga jumu. I pray for the day I will find my own true love. 
fem kai me kai buru kebu onye ji obi mu adu eji de go ife ni le oji de go ife ni le you even know what you've done to me i have done the right thing my prince I have done that with destiny had planned even before we came into existence. Destiny? Destiny planned for you to shatter my heart and my dreams? You are not my destiny. But when you is, one day you will be with yours. It sounds very easy to you because you don't know how long I've waited for someone like you. How am I supposed to find another you again? You should concern yourself with the most important things in marriage. When you do that, the things that are not important will follow. Just know you. You've broken my heart. I'm sorry you feel that way, my prince. I hope that someday you will thank me for letting you go. That day when you're in the arms of the one that you love, and the one that loves you like you deserve. I come before you. What's the single of our extended Umokobia family? With Mwakego and Bawaye, they have already been joined together in an elaborate celebration. As the head of the family, I present her to you as I pray that you lead all the ancestors and in the other of our family to follow her to her husband's house and prosper her. It shall be well with them. The marriage shall be fruitful and sweet. They shall bear good children, healthy ones. It shall be well with them. You see. News is everywhere that she has been joined to the one she chose ahead of you. I'm short of words. I thought everything was under control. She gave me no direct answer. I was hoping she would never turn me down. That's exactly what she did, my brother. She turned down an opportunity to be the queen of this land. Just to marry a nobody that whips smart. That's the reason I love her the more. She has grown to be a great woman of virtue that knows what she wants. That's why I want her. If I say you amaze me, it amounts to an understatement. Why are you singing glorious praises on a maiden that turned you down? A maiden that placed no value on you. Listen, my dear Ojuko. Do not hold it against her. Bawanya was there before me and she kept on turning him down. 
He kept Faith alive. I was supposed to be a distraction. She refused to be distracted. Can't you see? Can't you see we should respect and value her the more? In fact, love her the more. So, who are you going to marry now? That I don't know yet. I need to recover from this disappointment first. But mark my words, I shall find that woman. I shall find that woman who shared the same gift of her mother. And when I do, she will pull me out of this dilemma. Your mother will not be very happy with you in the land of the spirits. Father, I I wish to make her happy, but it's difficult. It costs me my own joy. What do you want to do? Just sit around, wait for luck to throw you another maiden that possesses the said quality? Listen, sit down, sit down, my son. Sit down. Listen, my son. Your mother made a very good choice of a maiden, a wife for you. And I approved her because I know she's good. But if you insist that, you do not want her, then make a haste and find one that you want so that I will bless her as soon as possible. You never can tell what the girls are planning. Before me, you can't. It's an abomination. Uh, please don't stop me. I must make this confession. I know I've hurt your feelings. My friends, please, I beg of you. Please stand up. You can't kneel before me. You can't. You are the coming king. Please, you can't kneel before me. I beg of you. Please. You wanted in a woman and you went for it. I feel like a fool right now. For making such qualities my part. You are not a fool. You knew what you wanted. And you are not a fool for going for it. I would do the same. I would be out. You you have all the qualities of a potential good wife. Masinaji. Please. Marry me. Prince, you know I would love to marry you. I have dreamt of how I would pride myself as your wife. But unfortunately, I can't make you happy. I don't want you to be unhappy for the rest of your life. No, 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 no. Listen, it doesn't matter if you're a seer or not. I want you to marry me and I will be happy with you. 
Believe me, my love. I will try and be happy with you forever. You see? You see what the problem is? I love you too much, my friend. I love you too much that I don't want you to try. I don't want you to try oh, okay, again. Listen, listen. I will not try. I will love you and be happy with you for the rest of my life. Please, just say yes. Say yes. And both of us will be the happiest people on earth. Please. I love you. How sad I am back home. Isn't anyone coming around for me yet? I am not that lucky. Have you heard? Rather, have you seen that the prince has come back to that pretty face? She is his destiny. Oh, there she goes again. Talking about destiny. Sometimes I wonder where my own destiny is hiding. First thing I would do is to give him a sound slap on his face for keeping me waiting. That is the day he finally comes at me. May the gods bless you with love. Joy and togetherness. Be safe. May your house be filled with children, male and female. Be safe. Above all, may the gods grant you the wisdom to rule this land till the time comes. Bring your hands. Try your hands. Yes, um, the authority conferred on me as Ese Miri Ewilo of Ogurit. I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Let's start off, start off. Thank you very much for waiting for me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you too. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's okay. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> you see, you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. And you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, it's your handy. Now I feel like the only unmarried maid in Obodoititi. Oh, come on, Eberi, your time will come. Relax. Oh, at last, at last, my sister, at last, my sister. Who won? One, one, <laughs> one. Yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> Can you tell me why she's looking at me like that? Or could it be she remembered everything I told her that day on the road? Or perhaps you shouldn't have told her those things you told her that day on the road? I know you could order for me to be tied to a stake now. Please have mercy. All he wants is for you to be a good maiden. That can make him feel like a man that he is. He has loved you from the very first day he set his eyes on you. What is she talking about? Patience, my sister. The time is now. 
is almost here. To make you what you have always wanted. His wife. I've been waiting for a chance to approach you. I love you the other way around. You mean you liked me all this while and you never said anything? Baby, I do not just like you. I love you. You're my heart true. You're my destiny. I You don't want to marry me anymore? Of course I'll marry you. It's just that I promise to ever will be my destiny. A slap on the day I set my eyes on you. <laughs> you don't know how long I have waited for this day. I never knew you had this desired gift of my mother. Why didn't you show me? I never knew I had the gift. I just looked at her and I had the urge to tell her. Mm, that is what Sia said. Um, but, but you didn't turn. You didn't turn to see him coming. So. How did you know he was he was approaching? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. father! You did not think uh, that your mother made a mistake in choosing her friend. Oh, father! You know your mother knew exactly that you loved that quality of life. That's why she stopped at nothing to get getting it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, you're a seer? I guess so. This is unbelievable. So, Father, you knew about it all this while. Why were you reluctant about it? I knew that the destiny of faith must take its full course. You do not fight for it. It comes natural. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My new one. My two. <laughs> <Hey Bri. laughs> My new wife. <laughs> <laughs> new... Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice, it has a golden voice. Waki ge kuyo ku, waki ga ba imba, waki ga ba yoso, ma waki ge ku ge finine, waki ge kuyo ku, waki ga ba imba, waki ga ba yoso, ma waki ge ku ge finine. Voice of silence, silence has a voice. 
Voice of silence. Voice of silence. 